What's up everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here with Ace, Vivian, Iron Bull, and Blackwall. We are still in the Western Approach. Before we head out and start doing our daily shenanigans in the area, let's discuss what's going to happen with Dragon Age. It has been on quite a bit of a hiatus for a good deal of time, but Dragon Age is back fully at this point. I promise you from this point, we are going to finish Dragon Age Inquisition before the next game comes out. The fourth one is dropping pretty shortly, so we are going to finish our playlist of Inquisition and move on. But what we're going to do with this, if you look at the map here, last episode we left off around Griffinwind Keep. We did Griffinwind Keep and then that was it. We had so much more. I went ahead and did things off camera because the way we're going to do this now, I'm going to showcase... Every main mission, every companion mission, every talks in Skyhold, but going around to areas like, let's say, the Western Approach, I'm not going to showcase every little bit of exploring. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do every single thing, read every single thing in this game, so I'm fully up to speed, but I'm just not going to record when I do that exploring. What I'm going to do, let's just throw it out there, for instance, what I'm going to do in areas... Each area is still important, I would say, mostly outside of maybe the Hissing Waste. So what I do plan on showing, at least, is when we open up an area, it will give us a quest to do something in an area. Let's say the Emerald Grove or whatever it is, Emerald Graves. We have to get Fairbanks' trust, okay? So I'll go and do that and get his trust on camera, but all the other exploring and stuff, I will do all that off camera so we can save some time. Companion stuff, main stuff, Skyhold talks, everything like that will always be on camera. And the DLCs, I don't think I can skip anything in the DLCs, so we'll probably just end up showing all that. Of course, we're going to show Trespasser fully. But just saying, we're going to trim a lot of the exploration, the gathering, the minor side quest, which is collection stuff. We're going to trim all that. And we're just going to make it easier. These episodes will probably be a lot longer because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip them all together. Come in, record, and then record another one, then record another one and snip it in. And just try to get it long and then try to get this Let's Play moving again. It has been three years since we started this Let's Play, if not longer. It was never the intention to put it on the sideline, unfortunately. Since Inquisition was never a first-time experience game, it was hard to see something new in the game. It's been about eight years since I beat Inquisition as a whole, so a lot of this stuff I don't remember at this point. My whole thing was getting past uh, Haven, getting us to this point, because a long time ago before we started Ace here, I started another playthrough after our Dragon Age 2 stuff. I started another playthrough, and I think it was an Elven Mage, and we got up to Skyhold, and then I took a huge break on the channel for like two years. And then I came back, and then we kind of... I just needed a refresher. But anyways, long story short, we will be finishing this Let's Play. So please, take the time. If you want to get caught up to speed, take the time. Go back to Origins. Go back to Dragon Age 2. Or at least look at the uh, beginning of this Let's Play to where we... Um, to where we... How we got up to this point. Because, well, the news of Dragon Age 4, and <laughs> we're all going to need a refresher. Including myself. So, everything is done here, and the only thing that we can do is bait this dragon. I think I'm going to show at least this dragon. We probably don't need to show all the dragons, but this is the best dragon I feel in the game. <laughs> the coolest fight. But, yeah, let's look at the journal, though. I have to see what we got going on. So, right now we have Here Lies in the Abyss. The Grey Wardens are all here in the calling and believe they have little time before succumbing to the corruption. A number of Panic Wardens are gathering in the Western Approach for reasons unknown. We have to go meet Hawk over here. We still have Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts that we'll do at some point. Of course, the Inner Circle, which is interesting because we had the, the Memories of the Grey, collectible for Blackwall. Promises of Destruction. We're going to have to do this before Hawk's mission. So we might go over after the Dragon and do Hawk's part, the beginning part, and then we'll cut off. Talk the people of Skyhold and then do this mission for Cassandra. And then we start Here Lies in the Abyss. Unfinished business. We got to seek Templars. Renegade Templars. Take them out. 
kill some Venatori for Dorian. We still need to talk to Sarah. Talk to Sarah about the march. Why haven't we did that? Beric has two more Lyriums to destroy. First Enchanter, Vivian has one more book. And Before the Dawn would be information on Samson. Or Cullen. Cool. But myself, I did go back and I read every single codex, by the way, to this point. We are com I am completely caught up on all the codexes. So when we get stuff in the episodes that I do plan on showing... I will be reading all this stuff. I will be doing all the things again. Just keep in mind that I will be 100%ing this game. I am not skipping anything. I'm just not going to snip it all into an episode because it's going to take an episode from an hour to four hours, literally, because of all the exploration and inquisition. As a first time experience, I would always tell you all to please do everything in the game. But if you beat Inquisition before, you know that you can kind of just, like, you don't have to do a lot of these areas. They don't really mean anything, just besides the juicy lore and stuff. But one more thing, look at Ace. I opened up the Hissing Wastes, and I got the, went to the Dog Merchant and such, and I got armor on Ace, and I bought him new weapons from the Black Emporium. I believe the weapons were the Red Birth weapons or Red Crossing weapons. I'm not sure. They were called Red something. But Hidden Blades, booyah. <laughs> We got one called Hidden Blades Booyah. 10% chance to apply Hidden Blades on hit with four added hits. So that is going to definitely help out. It's way better than what he had. He had, uh, what, the Bozoon Blade and just something else? And then we have Walking Bomb Party. 10% <laughs> chance to apply Walking Bomb for five seconds with detonation of 50% weapon damage. That works. And the armor, look how good the armor looks, man. Ace's Wrinkled Duster. It looks so damn good. <laughs> On hit three guard. I wanted to find the walking fortress one. You know, you would you would like randomly get walking fortress around your body. That's what I want. So we have the settle for guard, and then we have T Rex arms as an upgrade and curb stompers as an upgrade too. And we still have. Let's look at our other gear. Critical damage ring, life drain ring, maximum health ring. Cooldown amulet, and then we have a Ferelden Scout helmet. Everybody else, the companion-wise, they still have what they had last episode. Nothing, nothing upgraded on anyone. But let's go and let's get this dragon. I want to see it. I want to see it. I've been so excited to get back to this playthrough, friends. I was thinking about there was parts of me was thinking about possibly starting over, but just know that if we, we would have started over, I would have wanted to use Ace again. But I probably would have maybe switched to a warrior. Because Ace is a special character. I feel like I really fleshed him out pretty good in the beginning of this Let's Play, you know? Up to this point. And I just, I'm going to really, I don't know, he's one of my favorite characters I've ever made in Inquisition. I've only played this game a few times, but it's been so many years. The thing is, I was going to start over because maybe, kind of feeling maybe like disconnected because it's been so long. But I just watched, uh, you know, I went back and watched the stuff from the beginning of this Let's Play. And I got fully immersed into it, like, once again, just watching the stuff. So, I just, I couldn't do it. We started something, let's fucking finish it. We started his story, we will finish his story. I don't care if it takes fucking five years. We will be done before the fourth one. That's all that matters. Right? Shall we... We ready for this? We about to fight a dragon? I haven't played this game in so long. Let's Boss, try it. I want you to know, you're the best. <laughs> I love you too, boo! Let's whoop its ass! <laughs> Wait, there's a... There it is! So grand, the music kicking in, I'm fucking ready! A dragon. <laughs> Let's be sure she leaves us in one piece. We're not gonna leave it in one piece. We got a walking bomb, babe. Oh, he's in Sure. <laughs> Look how grand she looks, just... Yes. There we go. I changed some abilities on Ace too, but yeah, we'll talk about that after this. <laughs> Our little assassin still beast mode, friends. Come here, you big beast, you. Let us mark hidden blades. Oh, yes. Get that damage in Ace, my friend. Ow, you sneaky, you. 
Black wall, hang in there. Go around it. Oh, no. I think I'm missing. We ain't doing no damage here to this thing. <laughs> Get in, Viv. Oh, that so wrecks mages. Fun. I wanted to wait, though. I don't want to use my ultimate right now. Let's wait. Mark them, blades them. Ah. Slow it up. We're doing some good damage here. Step in! Who rezzed you? Did you res yourself? How did that just happen? Alright, we heard it. Let's... I'm gonna mark it first, though. Ah. I wanna wait till it's guards down, and then I'll use my ultimate. Can we just mark it? No. It's not mark it yet. Vivian! Goodbye. Damn, man. That's not good. Hidden Blades, booyah! Do your thing! Let's get to Blackwall here. Hey, Blackwall, did I go to you or what? Wait, that's a corpse. That ain't, man. That's another corpse. Wait. There it is. Blackwell, blow your horn, but go over here and get Viv, okay? She needs, uh, she needs help. You're getting her ass to <laughs> Ace is here! Mark! Hidden Blades. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Yes, hit it with the good stuff. I think we blew it up, though. That wasn't bad, Ace. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad, my friend. Goodbye, Vivian. She's fine. So I guess every time we can expect Vivian to probably be damn near dead when the... when it does that. Please! Oh, we totally missed. Got his guard up, that's fine. The bees get on it. No. See all the hidden blades? How you doing, Black Wall? You good or get his damage, friends? Blow it up! Yes! Good hit. Ace, you're a damn brawler. We can probably use Oh, Vivi. Hang in there. No! Didn't mean to press that button. It didn't even, she just fucking died because of it. Where'd the music go? How could it change the music? There it comes, it's coming back. Who's gonna get Viv? Oh no. I guess Ace. We'll get Ace to get Viv, and then I want to get some muddy blows with Blackwall. Oh, yes! Let me throw some bees at this mother effer. Wait, that's up in the air. Let's throw it right here. Get him, Blackwall. Hit him with the good stuff. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Blow your horn, Blackwall! Oh, yes! Right in the big toe! <laughs> hey, Ace, you good or what? Death blow that motherfucker. Yeah, you're too short to hit his head, friend. Look at Iron Bowl, he don't know what to do. He's just walking around, killing. <laughs> Ace, I think you're in the air. No, you're good. <laughs> Hidden Blades, booyah! <laughs> I love it. Let's mark them. There we go, we got Hidden Blades. Let's just blow it up a while. Ooh, that was nice. We're wrecking this damn thing. We got our little assassin, he's back. Fool! Oh, 
Oh, it's got his armor up. That's fine. Let me get back on the Vivian because... Woo! Close, Vivi. Yes. Let's get some barriers on here. Somewhere. I guess Vivian and Ace, sure. Let me see if I can get a regen on Viv. And then get a little bit closer. Oh. Silk. Iron Bowl. Let me get on Ace. It's down. Drag it. Oh my goodness. So much damage. <laughs> Good riddance. Iron Bowl! <laughs> Get your big ass up, bull! You okay? The potion, you beast, you. Everyone leveled up, friends! <laughs> that was so much fucking fun! Whoa! Frederick's gonna be ecstatic! Hey, man, come on. 172 gold, we got the Nameless Blade, which is a dual dagger blade. The AoE ones. Yeah, we ones are interesting. They always been pretty interesting. It changes kind of like the animation though. I do like the stabby stabby animation a bit more. Ring of armor penetration, superb. 20%, ooh. We got dragon bone, dragon scales, and dragon weapon, and a dragon tooth. Tier three, hence dragon blood. Let's go ahead and take all that. Ace, you got a new blade, but I don't think you're going to use it. And the armor penetration, though. Do we, are we going to need it? We have critical damage ring and life drain. I think we keep them on. We can go full damage, though. Do armor penetration. Maybe take life drain off. Are you really going to need life drain ring? Let's do full damage. We'll put this life drain ring on someone, whoever we're going to use for the main quest next time. Maybe our warrior. And then people leveled up, so we got something for our old Blackwall here. Blackwall, I love you on a two-hander, my friend. How about we put you... What we got? To the death. Let's give him to the death. And then change out this for to the death. No. Yeah? No. Get rid of... Get rid of this. Yeah. Oh, you're good now, Blackwall. Oh, Vivian's got something. What's old Viv have? Spirit Tree is pretty good. Night Enchanter. Let's go to... The Fade Shield. 30% of damage dealt. You draw back the energy released by your enemies and your attacks against them. Any successful attack strengthens your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. Yes, please. And plus three magic. Let me go to Black Wall, though. I was still want to... I don't want to just skip over stuff because I don't remember what... I know that's a good ability, but I don't remember what the hell it actually does. To the death, you taunt an enemy into a frenzy. Their damage output increases over time, but so does the amount of damage they take. Oh, they do more damage, but they take more damage, technically. So enemy damage output is 5% more, but enemy damage taken is 5% more. Very good, very good. You don't need to upgrade to that black wall, like something maybe gives you guard. While to the death is active, your guard improves as your target takes damage and you correct weakness of your own. So when you attack a target that has to the death on you, on them, you actually get guard. Oh, that's so good. So cool. Well, I think this uh, look like this area over here. There's a cave here now. It's just showing up on the map. So let's go down in this cave and see what the hell is going on. Friends, we just killed a dragon. What the actual hell? I felt... Good. Oddly. Assassin felt so good. Oh, with Ace's build. I did a little bit... I put... The only thing different, I respect him, right? 
And then I put him into archery. First blood. From my understanding, these passives actually work as a dual wielder as well. You've learned to pick apart enemies that are still unwounded and unwary. You do more damage to enemies that are lightly injured. So it doesn't say anything about bows or anything like that. But this is the thing is that pincushion works for dual daggers too. I don't know if it's a bug or how it is, but pincushion does work for daggers. I know it says bow on here, but it still works for daggers. If your first arrow doesn't kill them, the 10th might. Each consecutive hit with a bow attack does progressively more damage to the target. We can use this with daggers. I'm telling you, I've tested it at some point. It's true. You can use this for daggers. So just disregard it saying bow and just act as if your first dagger, if your first hit doesn't kill him, it works. Trust me. We're going to use it at some point. We're going to get that extra damage. Unless it, unless I'm just mistaken and wrong, but I'm pretty sure 100% that that actually works. All the passes work for all the specializations, no matter if it says, maybe not all the passes, but it works, all right? Just take it for what it is. We're going to use it whenever we get to it. Is there anything even in here? Oh, a mosaic piece. I always wanted one of them. Oh, another mosaic piece. Look, we found it all here, friends. There we go. Yeah, we completed one. Cool. Gimme, 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 gimme. Belt of Sunder or Legion, Battle Mage Armor, and 131 gold. We have a codex here. Memorial, the Warden Constable Valden Dace, Warden Anika Torsig, Warden Ortho Arn, Warden Karaka, Warden Durin Idukin. Dur no. Durin Idukin is. I've been replaying Dragon Age Origins at the moment, just so I can get a huge refresher. And what I mean by this, I'm reading the books, I'm reading the comics, I'm doing the short little films and stuff, every little thing for Dragon Age I'm doing. Over the years, I've only ever read up to Cole's book, and I don't even think I finished Cole's book. But I'm taking the time off camera to just go back, play Origins again, and... Dragon Age 2, read all the books in order that's going to lead us to Inquisition. And I think eventually, even after this Let's Play, I will do a just playthrough by myself where I just do everything in the game. But we've done did everything in the game so far on this Let's Play, so I might not need to do that again. But the Warden that you can make in Origins, the um, Idukin, his name is Durin. It starts out as Durin, so that's why I just thought it was that, but it's not. Warden Thomas Gavorn, Aragons Among Wardens. Brothers and sisters, we honor their sacrifice. Your sacrifice. Let's get this and then let's head on over to Hawk. I don't think there's anything else in here. Probably not. No. Actually, we gotta go to old Frederick. Turn that into Frederick. See if we can get him. See if we can bring him on, friends, to the Inquisition. It's about time, you know? Frederick has done a lot of good shit. And he could really benefit the Inquisition fully. Hopefully. But everything else is done. It feels good to finally be done with the Western Approach. Ace has been here for so damn long. Literally. And I'm actually really excited to go back and do Cassandra's questline. She's given it to us for a while now. A good while now. And I think... I just think it would be better if we just take it out. You know, make sure we talk to everyone. Make sure we expend all the dialogue and such. And then do the main stuff. Let's not get caught... You know, let's not drop the ball here. Let's get everything. I don't want to miss dialogue. Make sense? What's up, Fred? Everything's done. It seems very unlikely that she could be nesting at this time of year. She ah, know. fellow researcher, how can I help you? Hey, man, the dragon is corpse. The high dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? How wonderful. You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? I suppose you wouldn't have. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your Inquisition. <laughs> My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. I don't think so, Fred. <laughs> Frederick will not join? Yes, head the sky hold, my friend. All the help we need. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use a Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. 
It really would. Hey, look, we got Frederick in the Inquisition now. That is so cool. I love Can it. Can I help you? Know of any other dragons, Frederick, anywhere? Are there any other notable dragons you've heard about? They're supposed to be a smaller cousin of the Abyssal High Dragon roosting somewhere near here. A Sandy Howler, I believe. That's... I heard rumors of a Vince Summer being spotted taking prey of the Storm Coast. Lovely dragons. Remarkably aggressive. Jeanette sighted a Gamordan storm rider hunting in the dales before. Well, it was her discovery. And I believe a Ferelden Frostback has claimed a measure of the hinterlands as her territory. There may be others, but no word of them has reached me. When we killed that dragon, it looks like we got one other dragon. We killed the storm co not the storm coast one. The, the place with the uh, the mayor and stuff. The electric dragon that was over there. That's the one that we got. For some reason, the name of that place is just eluding me. Hold on. It, I need to know the name of this other place. It's damn eluding me. Not the Storm Coast. Crestwood. We killed Crestwood's dragon. I don't think we did the Hinterlands dragon. It said one. It said two after we killed that one. So, maybe we didn't. Even so, we're going to have to change the party here. We're not going over here with this party. Let's change the party, then we'll head over to Old Hawk. Oh, I can't wait to see Sandoa again. That son of a bitch. <laughs> and then just take it from there. Let's see. We're going to do Varric. I think we do Blackwall, and I think we do Solus. Yeah. Hey, friends. I will adventure? remember this when it is over. This? This war? The Inquisition? The people. How you fought against the tide. It is... Courageous. It is. I'm happy you are going to remember these people, Solus. I'm, you know, Solus is really honorable when it comes to the people of the Inquisition. He really does enjoy the people. Varric. Or, let's just say, he enjoys... He shows respect when respect is merited. You know what I mean? Makes sense? Varric, what can we do for you? I think we're going to have to go ahead and get Varric, because I want to get him tricks of the trade here. You help the team make the most of their abilities, increasing the damage and duration of all status effects. Yes, we need that big time. Do I want to keep you on Caltrops, Varric? Fallback plan? Can we keep Varric fallback plan? Get rid of Caltrops. You don't need that shit. Flat tire people. You don't need a flat tire people. This is going to help you survive, Varric. You know what I mean? What's good old Solus have here? I think he's good in that trade. Let's see what he's got in Rift Mage. Oh, you need some shit in Rift Mage, my friend. You catch stray magic around weakened enemies and use them to increase the damage of your own. Yes, please. We'll work on getting Pool the Abyss. Solus, I'm loving your spells that you got. Who doesn't have Fade Step? I'm pretty sure we put it on everybody. Actually, I don't think Dorian did. When I went to... Changed the party before I came in, because I was not going to fight the dragon with Dorian and Cole. <laughs> we had Dorian and Cole. I think at the last episode I was talking about really challenging myself in the dragon, but no, it's been too long. Let me look at the map, though. Everything is good. I just want to make sure. One last time. Yeah. Everything is good. Let's head over to Hawk and Logan. <laughs> yes, we got Logan as the Great Warden. This should be... Interesting, to say the least. Got bandits here. Ace, whoop them up, my friend. How are we gonna do this? We mark them and then hit and blaze them. And then, I mean, he's dead. Good riddance. <laughs> Ace has arrived. Hello. Nice to see you all. Nothing else here. What do you think Hawk's been doing all this time? <laughs> Ultimately, seriously. <laughs> it's been like two years. Two fucking years. What is this? Bullshit animals? Let me fight no bullshit animals. Let's go. Look at this big sucker. Keep on trucking. We got some things and stuff going on here. And that dragon fight got me so pumped, man. 
The music was so good. Hey, Hawk! Good. Hey, man! Whatever's happening has already started. We saw <laughs> lights coming from the tower. Blood magic, I'd wager. You can smell it. Or see the corpses. You take point. I'll guard your backs. You can smell it. See the corpses, he says. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Find it just as I showed you. So crazy. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond of Virantium, at your service. You're no warden, mage. But you <laughs> are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Your allies don't scare me. I've already got a head start. Wardens, he's deceiving you. So, I'm gonna be honest, there's gonna be a lot of speculation on my part for... <laughs> Probably the rest of this game, I just kind of really don't remember a lot of the stuff, runs. I know the overarching story, Corypheus, this, that, and the other. But these things and these quests, I just kind of don't fucking remember. Wardens, he's deceiving you? No. Oh, man, how do we want to play this out? Already got a head start, yeah. So what happens to them, though? I mean, he's basically just... He bound that demon to that... Person, but like, what exactly is what happened to him? Is that guy like somewhat possessed in a way now? Wardens, he's deceiving you. Yeah. Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinter Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Hands down. Corypheus controls them. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. In desperation, they turned to the Imperium. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarel full of sympathy, and together... We came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. I mean, let's be honest, it's not really a bad idea, but the demon part is kind of what's throwing this off for me, friend. We trick them. Oh, that demon army. Yeah, that's the demon army that they were talking about in the dream, pretty much. I saw this at Redcliffe. Yeah. In that... Strange world that we went into, that strange timeline, we saw this. Corypheus marching across Orlais with an army of demons. That was in the future I saw at Redcliffe. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. So, okay, go back a little bit. The demon, now that the demon is bound to the warden, the wardens are pretty much bound to Corypheus, or his slave at this point. So the demons and the wardens are slaves to Corypheus. What's in this for you? Corypheus made them do this? Why kill the old gods? I mean, that's obvious, Ace. You need to get rid of them. 
You ever wonder if that's really the fucking old gods? You ever wonder if that's really the tales of the darkspawn? Like, seriously. The Magisters cracked the Golden City. They blackened it. Get sent down to the Earth. And then, what? The first couple ones become the old, they're the old gods or whatever? No. The old gods are imprisoned in the Earth. The first ones that came down were the priests, this, that, and the other. They were the Darkspawn, but are you sure about that? I mean, the Codexes state, like, the first Darkspawn kind of pretty much just came up from the ground. Basically, do you think it was... Really, the Magisters got shot down? Well, Corypheus, I mean, he was a Magister, and then the Architect was, uh, something. Corypheus made them do this? So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. That's a lie! The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. I mean, he's not wrong in that aspect, Blackwall, that they care about the Blights. Pretty much nothing but the Blights. Our Warden was different. You're different, Blackwall, in your Warden status, my friend. And, well... Can't speak for Logan yet, but... I'd imagine that he's different, obviously, because he broke away from this Corell's shit that she's doing. Why kill the old gods, though? Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof, no more blights, ever. The Wardens sacrifice their lives and save the world. That's madness. For all we know, killing the old gods could make things even worse. Well then, it's a good thing I'm taking this demon army off their hands. Yeah, but... <laughs> Solus felt some type of way about that. We've already killed a few old gods, Solus. So... You're not wrong in what if it makes it worse. What if... No, that's just too much reason. I was just gonna say, what if the old guys that are dragons that are sleeping down there right now... What if they're holding back more of the Blight? But then again, once they get corrupted, they're owned by the Blight anyway. In a sense, so they would unleash if something that they were holding. So that's not... that's not gonna... <laughs> that's not gonna fly. But I'm curious on why... Killing the old gods as a whole would have anything, would make anything worse. That gives the Dark Swan a purpose. The old gods call. But if the old gods don't call no more, then what happens then? Yeah, like, what? You do make a good point there, Solus. Why risk using demons? Yeah. Why not? We're not using crazy blood magic ritual, but I'm saying, why not build an army? You know? Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across LA. Now they are bound to my master. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about the deep roads. You really don't give a fuck. He's using the wardens and everything, obviously. What's in this for you? Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. As for me, <laughs> while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. You're dead. I've seen worse. Let the Wardens go. You're dead. I've seen worse. I wanna- I feel terrible that the Wardens are going through this. Like, I hate it for the Wardens. I love the Grey Wardens as a faction. 
the Grey Wardens, the Legion of the Dead, they're like two of my favorite factions, obviously. And like, if I see them in like, just situations like this, it really just hurts my heart, man. Let the Wardens go. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. <laughs> when I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... <laughs> Motherfucker. Kill them! Let's go into stealth and whoop some ass here. Hello, friend! Let's mark him. Hidden blades him. Oh, maybe not hidden blades. Ah. Well, there's the mate. I have to kill the horse. I hate to say it. Good oh, Britons. Locate is fucking dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, get your ass up. So, that went well. <laughs> As you feared, the mages who completed the ritual are under the thrall of Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Oh, of course. It's not real blood magic until someone gets sacrificed. How could they do this? They've gone too far. They were misled. I want to know how can they do this, though. Because the Warriors... They're not really being controlled by Corypheus, so how do they think this is a good idea? How could they do this? Human sacrifice? Demon summoning? Who looks at this and thinks it's a good idea? The fearful and the foolish. Despite their lack of wisdom, they acted out of necessity. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. In the direction Eremon fled, the only structure of note is an abandoned Warden fortress, Adamant. I suspect we'll find the Wardens there. <laughs> I suppose it's fortunate a friend once gave me some old maps. Excellent work. That makes sense. Find them. Well, excellent work, Loghain. I'm happy your friend gave you this map. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Hey, Solos, you okay with this? Look at him. He's sitting there like... Oh, shit's great. <laughs> Fucking Logan. You chugging Logan? How you doing, my friend? <laughs> that warden's whooped your ass. Shadow Essence. This is a creature research item. Bring it to the research specialist. Yeah, got it. We got something around here. Silk brocade. A letter found in a Grey Warden mage. Shane, I don't trust this ritual Chlorel is talking about. Are you sure it's safe? Have you ever used blood magic? I don't care what the Chantry says, I doubt it they'd approve of the joining if they knew everything about us. While my family fought to venture slavers near the border, this Araman sounds like everything that's wrong with the Imperium. Yeah, he's a fucking scumbag, for sure. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. If you can look me in the eye and tell me that this ritual is safe, I won't speak of it again. If not... Just come back safe, please, Chernoff. Sorry, friend. You were sacrificed. Unfortunately, we couldn't get here in time. Grey Warden Whiskey, Right Vine, Inscription Ale. A bottle marked Vintage Warden Avel? <laughs> Evil L? Maybe? Griffin Wing Ale. Hey, Varric, how you feeling about all this? It's some shit, is it not? Hawk, oh, you feeling okay about this shit too? Because I'm not. Smoldering core. Okay. 
Well, let us get this last little marker here, and then that will complete our time in the western approach. Many Taventure structures litter the wasteland of the southwestern Orle. In the age before the first blight, the Imperium expended through the south at an incredible rate. And the lands farthest from Enrathus became a home to a great many sites dedicated to magical experimentation. Taking advantage of natural weaknesses in the Vale, as well as the distance from the Archon's oversight to try ever more dangerous fields of study. As with Aenor, which was the mage prison, right? Aenor was on one side of the Imperial Highway, and then it was Ostagar on the other, correct? Am I wrong? But this is where Aenor was like the most dangerous mage prison. As with Aenor and Ferelden, the laboratories of Orle were set upon by the followers of Andraste during the uprising, and little remains of them now save crumbled stone. An expert from Empire and Imperium by Sister Patrine, Cantry Scholar. How we feeling? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm just happy that, hey, what's over here? Griffin Wing Keep. We got something at Griffin Wing. Let me go and see what this is, all right? Like I said, most of, I'm just, when I'm recording, if in the process of doing these main stuff, we're gonna get as much as we can, but there's gonna be a lot of things that we will, I will have to do off camera. It's just how it, how it is. I wanna see what this is. We'll gather this. Can we not talk to him or? It's probably nothing. Hey, Captain. Inquisitor. Was this about bandits? Yeah, what's this about bandits? Report. What's the situation in the Warden's Fortress? Bandits moved in. Worse than Quillbacks, if you ask me. They're holed up in there, and using it as a base to strike at our supply caravans. Blasted scavengers. Okay. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. We had to go take care of bandits, fortress squatters, clear the bandits out? I was just over there, friend. I can't fast travel there now. Let me go and deal with these bandits, and then we'll head back to camp. The bandits were utterly destroyed. We got a little bit of power from it, and that was about it. It was like three bandits. Ace just destroyed them all. Have to make all. sure it's cleared after. Don't need squires losing feet. Hey, man, how are you? Inquisitor. Inquisitor. All right, let's go and talk to people. I kind of want to see what Cass is up to. The thing is, I'm also probably going to do the war table stuff off camera, but I feel like the war table thing, some of the most interesting ones would be Sutherland's quest line. Whoa. You all just... Your worship. How can we use you, Krem? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the chargers? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. We'll talk later. Krem's done. Let's see if old Bull has anything. What's up, Iron Bull? Pleasure as always, boss. You wanted to get drinks? Can we about Sahara? on? Wait, we... I thought we already got drinks with Bull. Can you tell me more about Saharan? Yeah. It was a damn ugly place. Sky. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? Everything, man. Tell me everything. Tell me about the Fog Warriors. Tell me about the Talvashoth, the Vinter, Saharan natives. Yeah, tell me about the Fog Warriors. What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. Damn. Sound, yeah, you sound impressed. They, they sound a fucking badass. You imagine being a fog warrior? It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. Yeah. You have to respect that. You sure Plus, do. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog, always put a smile on my face. <laughs> tell me about Talvashoth, yes. Please, tell me a bit more. Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan, or lose faith in the Kuhn, they go rogue. 
They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Qun to stay civilized. Then aren't you Talbashal? I mean, is he? Technically, Talbashal? Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Qun out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. <laughs> he hates the Talvasha. I wonder what this will be like if you were actually a Kunari. Tell me about Tevinter. Yeah, tell me about the Vince. Tell me about the Tevinter people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. So what's so bad about Taventer? Yeah, well, I mean, there's many things that's bad about Taventer. I want to see some good things with Taventer, man. You know? I want to see some good things. Besides Dorian. I mean, Dorian's the only good thing that we've ever got out of Taventer, right? What's so bad about the Vents? Why do you hate Taventer forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. Yeah, I would say so, Bull. Tell me about Saharan natives. Isn't this where Fenris was from, Saharan? What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. Damn. At least you got the warning. He's so observant that just with reading someone's eyes that he, he knows something's up. I love that about Bull. Like, non-stop, just observant all the time. Imagine he's hes not just sitting here, friends. He's observing and reading all these people that come by the, the end. You know he is. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. Damn, Bull. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, Bull. It's not an easy life for them. We got the Talvashoth, the Grey Ones, and we unlocked the Talvashoth. Let me look at the codexes here. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure I did end up reading... Everything, yeah. For the most part. What's this? Adamant Fortress. Yes. This is number two. I'm not gonna read this right now. I'll read it before, right before we start. Wait, we have one here at nine. We have number two in places. Creatures, characters. What got updated in the characters? Who? Oh, Eremon. Okay, like I said, I went in here and I read every single swinging D fucking codex. I'm caught up to speed fully on everything. But the thing is, from here on out, we're going to start reading stuff as we go. We're not going to skip things. We just can't. I don't want to get that far behind anymore. You know, I just don't. But we will read them before we do Adamant. We're going to do things before Adamant. Like Cassandra stuff. I, did we do bulls I quest? can't understand how those women in the kitchen can be awake so early after the night we had. Threw him, did you, boo? <laughs> you wanted to get drinks? You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. So, I don't think we did Bull's Quest. Yeah. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. <laughs> 
I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Krem isn't too bad. What should I call you? Did you ever stop? Yo, know, Krem isn't that bad. It's actually a pretty cool name. I can think of worse places to go with Kremisius. So can the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? <laughs> it's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Bypass is a man. Are you a woman? And the rest of your crew? When did you know? I don't know if we're just gonna just come out and ask Krem this. I really kind of don't. I'm curious on maybe why Krem wanted to be what he was meant to be or wanted to be, but I just don't. What did you just say? And the rest of your crew? When did you know? We can just ignore it, but I am curious why pass. When did you know? That would be... Let's just ask. Did you always know? Yes. It's not the most fortunate thing to know about yourself growing up in Tevinta, one rung above slavery. In Kunada, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. <laughs> we still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the Chargers. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. <laughs> Crazy bunch of assholes. But they're mine. Where are you from, Rocky? Why leave your clan, Dalish? Let's just let's just ask from the top. Where are you from, Rocky? Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, <laughs> I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. <laughs> Bull knows about black powder, and he's so loyal to the Kuhn that he just won't say. He won't even help him remotely get it. Why leave your clan, Dalish? Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages <laughs> in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I gotta be honest, that lady's voice does not match her face whatsoever. <laughs> she's like young and cute looking, but her voice sounds like she's so old. <laughs> you were a healer, Stitches? I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not <laughs> supposed to drink it. Fucking bull over here chugging potions like it's alcohol. How'd you get here, Skinner? And Grim. Oh, there's Grim. Remember the story with Bull? He was calling us Grim. He's like, this is Grim. And we didn't say nothing the whole time. <laughs> so, how'd you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. <laughs> She's not marking her territory or anything. Okay. Grim. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or a chieftain, something like that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm impressed. This is quite a group. Hey, Bull, I'm impressed with your group here. Got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No, 
Man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with those cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. <laughs> I'm happy I got to meet your team, Bull. Though, I can't remember... I, I just caught up with the Let's Play itself, but I can't remember if we did Bulls. It's been like a month or so since I watched it, but I don't remember if we did Bulls' personal mission. I don't think we did. Pleasure as always, boss. I think I was... I think I was trying to wait until we do Sutherland stuff because Iron Bull's personal mission sends you to the Storm Coast, if I remember correctly. And Sutherland, that little the guy above us here, I think their quests, if you have it at the same time, it will conflict. Tell me about your truce, I'd like Bull. to hear more about the Chargers. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? Let me know. How, yeah, how did you start? How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. Fisher's Bleeders? What about Fisher? I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. <laughs> you must have a crazy yeah, Bull. Tell me some crazy stories. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one, <laughs> there's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting once. Giant baiting? Giant baiting bull? What's giant baiting? <laughs> so this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant. But no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does. And we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. You let it chase you? Though, the giants... <laughs> Remember fighting the giants? I think we fought one on the Storm Coast, but that dragon kind of dealt with it a little bit. You let the big thing chase you though, Bull? That was actually your plan? To let a giant chase you? Yeah, <laughs> we had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. <laughs> eh, turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. It's okay though, we still got paid. <laughs> your group is diverse, they really are. I love your group, Bull. It's a whole variety of fucking people. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlais and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here, or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. Tell me about Krem, though, Bull. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. Special? But you hate to venter? Him being her isn't an issue. But, see... But you hate to venter. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinter? Nah. But you hate the Vents. Sure. But he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine. But people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. Him being her is an issue. I want to say this, but I just... I'm curious. You don't have any problems with him being a woman? He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you only come up to my knee, and you can't dream. We're <laughs> probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. Well said, Bull. See you Take later, Bull. 
Nice talking with you, boss. Krem's a good soldier, to be fair, and Krem is a good person, friends, no matter what. D don't <laughs> look at Krem. <laughs> Fucking stand it on the. Stand it on Make your. Her hope it's not me. Well, you're just standing on your chair there, Cremesius. Your let's worship. Talk to I can we use you? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, let's talk about Krem. I wanted to Krem. talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tavinta. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met Ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. How'd you end up leaving? What was Tavinter like? Why do you pass? Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. How did you end up leaving? How did you end up leaving? What did your family think? Could you change with magic? Would you change with magic? Yeah, what did your family think? How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. He's a good dad. Would you change with magic? Could you? Would you? If you had the chance to use magic, would you change all the way? What? No. I don't want any magic like that within ten yards of my body. When I was younger, I'm... Ah, oh, I don't know. Everyone has silly dreams. In Tevinter, dreams like that get you killed. Bull helped me make a good life. Nice armor and a well-placed sock, and I'm happy. <laughs> what kind? Like a well-placed sock, I get it, but you're gonna put like a roll... What are you gonna put in there? A roll of dimes, quarters... I'd go with the quarters, at least. For now. <laughs> What's life like in Tevinter? I'd imagine life like for Krem. How it was for Krem. It must have been really, really fucking hard there. It literally must have. What's Tevinter like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How'd they do that? You gotta figure that his father was a tailor. And... Join the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under? Yeah, I mean, slaves, they work for free, right? I mean, they're slaves. How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the Magisters had a pet project. To prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? You get Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That Magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. Damn, that's terrible. Slave labor, lovely. He had good intentions. Slave labor, lovely. It's difficult to compete with someone who doesn't get paid. That's to Vinter. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicus. The Imperium owns slaves now. That's, that's rough, man. That's so rough. How did you end up leaving? Yeah. You said you left Tevinter when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. Damn. How'd you get away? Passing is illegal. How'd you get away? I'm surprised you escaped from the Tevinter Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. I ain't lying. Passing is a... You just needed to run into Fenris. He would have dealt with it all for you. Passing is illegal. It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an imperial application for service. Would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. You still are good at hitting. We'll talk later. 
<laughs> Take it easy, Chromisius, a classy. Let me check in with Sutherland. What does he got going on here? Of course. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning. We haven't done Sutherland stuff yet. We have to. I'm going to do... Yes. I have to do all the war table things before we do this main mission. You know what I mean? I have to get that war table stuff done. Yes. Sutherland we stuff how many? is and the blew through and saved quite the interesting, let's just say. We can at least get them in Skyhold here. Don't let them hear you say it. Where's Sarah at? Well. Oh, over here. We got stuff for Sarah, like her mission to we do. Hold it. Let me look at the journal here. So I just don't know if we did... I can't remember if we did bowls. But we'll figure, we'll figure it out as we go. The inner circle. I don't think any of this stuff goes away, right? Seriously. If we choose to not do Cassandra's right now, do we lose out on things and stuff? Probably not. Obviously, you're not going to... Because these episodes are going to be so long. <laughs> not going to tell me. But I'm probably just going to do it anyway. Just to get it done. So we probably do actually have a good deal of companion stuff and talks around Skyhold that I want to do before we get done. I think I want to take out Sutherland stuff too. My goal is to do every single side mission or at least every single mission that we can okay, companion wise and then every single war table thing because once right. you do a main mission, the war table gets infested with more stuff, new stuff. And I don't know if the other stuff gets taken away, like it's timed. I'd imagine that you probably don't have, say you just don't do no war table things, and you do like three or four main missions, and you're like in the point of no return. That main mission stuff, some of them have got to have left, I'd imagine. So you probably want to do everything you can possible before you do the main mission. So this is a junction point right now, at least with Hawk and Loghain. It's going to trigger again once we go to... Let me see something. The Inquisitor's Pass. Speak with the advisors at the war table in Skyhold. To be honest, I think what we should do before we do Sarah's, because Sarah's probably takes us out of Skyhold. Let's deal with Sutherland, and I kind of want to go to the war table and see what we have left over at the war table before we do anything, because I think if we leave Skyhold, then... Whoa, what are these things? Anyways, I think if we leave Skyhold, then... We got an upgrade. I think if we leave Skyhold, we might trigger bull stuff. And I don't want to conflict bull stuff with... What's this infinite loading here? <laughs> we can do the infirmary. Or we can do a sparring ring. The infirmary is interesting because it takes care of this back here. This back here, the building, like, behind Cassandra and over by the Quartermaster is literally, like, <laughs> it's broken down. So if we do the infirmary, then it fixes it. But I don't feel like Ace would do an infirmary. I feel like, I feel like he would want a sparring ring. A cosmetic upgrade that declares the Inquisition promise to be both welcoming and protective for all who seek its support. Sparring ring. A cosmetic upgrade that declares the Inquisition's investment in the recruitment and training of its soldiers. So that all who wish to fight are put to their best use. Let's do the sparring ring. Cool. Now let's say uh, we got a sparring ring right here in this muddy water. <laughs> Works for me. Anyways, let's go to the war table. I feel like I just... I don't know. I just feel like Sutherland's and Bull's quest will end up conflicting with each other. So let's just do... Oh look, there's Hawk and Merrick. I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Ah, oh, it's, it's been great. Murderous Wardens, Archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. <laughs> Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I... Uh, I need to finish this out. 
If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. Look at Hulk with his wise words. But this is the thing, though. Seriously. If we never went to... If we never ended up doing the Corypheus thing in the second game, do you think Corypheus would have actually got out on his own? He was weakening. The barrier was weakening anyway. He would have gotten out, right? What's up, Hulk? I tracked the wardens to Adamant Fortress, Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Anything else, Hawk? Your specialists are waiting inside. I believe they're discussing how to take Adamant. We're gonna do that soon. Your specialists are waiting inside. I believe they're discussing how to take Adamant. So, I believe I'm probably done on the war table, but we're gonna probably have a lot of running back and forth with Sutherland's quest. I don't know what happens with the war table, so let's just go ahead and do it. Everything before the mission, the main mission. Every talks before the main mission, of course, and then everybody's personal mission before the main mission. Because after the main mission, we'll probably get more stuff, you know? And if you're still doing their personal quest, when we do the mission, and we still have it after we do the mission, that's probably taking up space of something else. So let me look at Orlay and see if everything is done. I'm pretty sure I did all this. Resources. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one is done. It's just opening stuff up at this point. Where's Adamant Fortress at? It's in Orlay. Yeah. Interland Resources. We haven't found Crestwood's Mayor. I'm waiting on Crestwood's Mayor until after this quest. So Adamant's right here. Oh, only 20. I think we got over 100. Oh, yeah, we got 107. New to the crew, a young hopeful. I want to do this whole quest. I really feel like this is one of the, the most enjoyable war table things. There's some important war table stuff that I will hold, of course. Some of this stuff is kind of bump and grabs. But I will hold the important things. Like, I feel like this one's an important one. And I'll try this show that at least. This one's done too. A note in careful handwriting from... The youth who recently arrived. To the Inquisition, I found bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show your people where they are. I'd have tried to stop them, but they have swords, and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help. The Sutherland. If we have the location, just eliminate them, put the boy to work elsewhere. No. If the boy knows where they are, outfit him. It's a minor threat. Sure. The Sutherland lad reported back that bandits were cleared with minor spoils. We may have potential. Oh, Cullen. We got some gold. So we'll probably have to leave off. Let me go back over the Sutherland. Hey, friend. Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone. He's a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Keep training, my friend. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, your worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. We got somebody named Voth here. A patrol for the crew. Operation available. Anything else? This is the start of something grand. I know it. Damn right it is, Sutherland. The continuation, a patrol for the crew. A report in Cullen's hand. We've had a request for some general patrols. It is heartening that we are being looked to in this way, but I doubt we would find any activity directly related to Corypheus. And our resources are better sent elsewhere. The request was the same region as the bandits reported by the Southern lad. Perhaps we should extend his duties. Cullen. I'll notify the Sutherland boy who will have minor sanction to request resources for patrol. Inquisitor. The Sutherland lad and his small crew have reported in only minor trouble as expected. Nevertheless, they have increased our presence. They seem useful freelancers. A perfect space for knocking sense into each other. And training. <laughs> Ace is excited about his new arena friends. 
<laughs> Sutherland. How you doing, friend? Good work out there, Voss. Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. Jay, <laughs> thanks for joining in on that escort for Lady Montelier. Whatever. She's great, right? Blighted nugs? You had a blighted nugs mission? Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. Outfitting the crew operation for Sutherland. Outfitting the crew. A hastily scribbled letter from the quartermaster. While I would never question the wisdom of the Inquisitor in such a continuous time, if we are to insist on relying on mercenaries acting in our names, I would ask that they represent us properly. We can't be seen to employ the poorly equipped in the Inquisition. More exactly, I cannot humbly request permission to outfit the crew southern than leads Sir Morris. If they represent us, they should reflect our influences. But what does that mean? It would take little to have them like the hidden arm they could be. Ooh. He wishes to be formidable, then make them formidable. Heavy armor? No, I don't feel like they're heavy armor because it looks like there's a mage and then... The only one that looks like a warrior could possibly be Sutherland. I feel like the hidden arm. Let's do Liliana's here. I know from the Quartermaster, thank you for the indulgence. I have outfitted Sutherland and his small crew. An equipment more appropriate to agents of the Inquisition, giving their humble origin. It is doubtful they have ever seen the like, Sir Morris. This is sleek stuff. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I have serious bard gear. This is the best. Wow. And you're great in it. You too, Voth. I can't wait for the next job. He actually looks pretty awesome, this armor set here. It's almost like the beginning armor set that we all get in the very beginning when Ace or just all of our Inquisitors are just locked up, that green set. But it's just upgraded. It looks pretty cool. Good job, Liliana. Inquisitor, this gear is the best. I never thought, well, we'll be worth it, I swear. Damn right you are. A test of metal in the crew. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. A test of metal and the crew. A report sealed with the mark of a minor lord. It is irrelevant who noticed the dark spawn your worship. Such pockets are not uncommon. We understand that you cannot allow such things on trade routes you wish to exploit. Unfortunately, we cannot allow external forces to cross our holdings. Instead, we request sanction to act under your banner. It is a risk we are preparing to take because such partnership and the expected increase in status will be profitable. In return, we will promise resources, but we remain committed to merely observing your greater struggle. I trust you understand, Lord Presminals. A note by Cullen added below to the report. Brought to our attention by Sutherland and his crew, Charming. Liliana, answer with a small group. Give this fool no reason to posture. Sutherland and his crew will serve. Cullen, do we need such allies? March? Are oh, you talking about... Oh, he's just going to skip Sutherland and march with the troops. A holdout over negotiation. This offer comes with caveats, but it is valuable. No, let's not do that. Let's do Liliana's because she's still willing to use Sutherland here. Let's see what we have. Sutherland and his company dealt with the Darkspawn threat. Lord Irrelevant. Paid no attention to them. I believe he was expecting a larger force he could posture against. Not young adventurers. Such a shame to disappoint him. Liliana. <laughs> I know. Then you were off the walls. Voth hit him with fire, and I got him around the side. You were very dashing. Cleaved him good. Couldn't let him get near you. Either of you. We're a team. Better, we're an adventuring company. Oh shit, we're a company! You kind of are. Your own little bulls chargers. Your Sutherland's saviors. That's what you are, friend. Inquisitor, <laughs> you should have seen it. Darkspawn. We put your flag in the center of their bloody lair and held it. Isn't he good? He's very good. We are better than good. We'll prove we're an adventuring company of the Inquisition. Your company, Inquisitor. I said I'd pay you back, and I will. You're doing a damn good job. A crew of ambassadors operation is available. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. A crew of ambassadors. A report in Cullen's hand. A request worth considering using a smaller focus group 
where patrols has allowed a presence in areas where soldiers would intimidate and diplomats are looked on with suspicion. Sutherland and his group apparently cross paths with an unusual dwarven work detail. And now we have an unexpected opportunity. In outreach to the mining cast of Orzammar, they are asking for help finding a lost expedition of drifters. And offering sizable rewards specifically requested was the company that showed you're not all sky mad. Yeah, so uh, Sutherland saviors. Liliana, target help, but no interference. A small group in the deep roads can do great things. I feel like Liliana's just on board with Sutherland. Let's keep going with hers. Sutherland and company returned with sizable resources, a cadre of support personnel, and promises of future trade with the mining cast directly. Their ambassadors, whether intended or not. Whoa, look at Sutherland and crew here, friends. They're doing good shit. Crew of adventurers. We have a continuation here. Sutherland didn't actually have anything. It just can when I left this uh, war table room, it just continued it. A report in Liliana's hand. Sutherland's company have made a request for further expeditions to bolster Inquisition coffers. He seems driven to match the investment made in the group thus far. The goal is rambling, but has potential. A small group is certainly better suited to ferreting out whatever misplaced city horror filled tomb or borderland keep he's looking to scout. They'll have the contacts to do the work they are good at. Let's keep going with Liliana. Inquisitor. Another delivery from the travels of Sutherland's company, Sutherland's saviors. The group may not be on the minds of heads of state, but they're certainly brought word of the Inquisition to any number of people. Oh, oh Pebbles, who do I talk to? It's so high here. Sutherland and crew is not here, friends. We have somebody named Rat. Oh, your worship. I'm, uh, I'm with Sutherland. I'm Rat, his squire. Forgive me, I'm not used to being this high up. I was following and they were taken. They said to come here with a map if there was trouble. That you would help. They said you're a great man. A leader. You'll help, right? Because, because I don't know what to do. Sutherland and company missing operation available. We need to do that. Oh, it's so hard to breathe up here. I did what I could. Don't fall into the sky. I almost did when I first came up here. Oh, it's so hard to breathe up here. I did what I could. Though to be fair, Ace was probably born on that surface, right? <laughs> At this point. <laughs> Let's go back. Sutherland and company missing. A hastily written report in Cullen's hand, the map brought by this rat gives a general area, but it will require significant investment to narrow the location of the missing group. The squire was clear that Sutherland and company are in dire need and commitment must be swift. I have a rookery full of black wings ready to signal a search. Yes. Keep going. The last trail Sutherland and company found and mapped on your action, Inquisitor. If you need assistance, you're in the best position to render it. Can we just go? From here? Because I believe it's on the Storm Coast. Let's... Let's leave out then. I'm pretty sure it's on the Storm Coast, but I also want to look at the journal and see if anything come up in the journal. Sutherland's mission is... Rescue Sutherland, Voth. Okay, let me look at the look at the journal for that. It would be what would that even be on? The Storm Coast, probably. Yeah, right here. The location of Sutherland's company has been revealed, and swift action is required if the young group is to be found. Rescue Sutherland, Voth, and Shyad. Let's go and see about rescuing our friend Valroyo, huh? I remember the first time I visited it some thirty years ago. The market was not half as large, without the garish statues, and far fewer stands selling those ridiculous frilly little cakes. The Valroyo market was once nothing but tents of oiled leather and mud, filled with ragged humans, selling strings of beads made of bone. You saw this in the Fade? Yes. I left that memory quickly. The smell. It must have been ages ago. Oh yes. It's much better now. I enjoy the frilly cakes. <laughs> we all love the frilly cakes, Solus. Though I don't really know how to get to um, 
Sutherland. It's one it's one of these ways over here. It's kind of like, if we're looking at the map here, I mean, we can go around, oh, I guess we can go through this. I mean, we can't go over this, per se, can we? Unless we can get up here. I don't think we can get up here. Anyways, like, look at it like this, friends. If we never would have did Sutherland's mission or just picked the wrong, oh, fucking hell, there's a bear. Or picked the wrong advisor, we would literally have not have gotten to this point, you know? It's a nice little story thing. It's a nice little... It's more stuff that we can do for the Inquisition, and they can do for us. It's just... I don't know, I find his mission very humbling. And it's one of my favorite ones on the war table. There's some other really cool ones, but... They're nothing like this. Sutherland's the only one that's like this on the war table. All the rest of them are kind of just... I mean, like I said, bump and grabs. They're just... You read them, you do them, you get the stuff. But I think we need to hurry up because I don't want him... Oh, we're stuck. I don't want them to go ahead and die. It looks like there's enemies over here fighting them already. Let's go. Sutherland. It's the Inquisitor. I told you. I told you. He's as true as anything here. Damn right, Sutherland. Okay, you guys are wrecking them. That's the law. One. He actually talked! Good old Valus! Hey Sutherland, where you at, friend? I knew you'd come. Rat's a good runner. We saved a caravan but lost the fight. Saw your flag and were hoping we were good for a ransom. Once they learned we were nobody, we were as good as dead. But here you are. Nobody. You're my people. Damn right, Sutherland. You're not just nobody, friend. Of course I'm here. You are an adventuring company of the Inquisition. You hear that? Did everyone hear that? We heard it, <laughs> you fool. Inquisitor, we'll return to the hold, and we'll be back out in no time. Thank you. Love you guys, man. This is so cool. I love it. Let's head back and do that operation now. A company of heroes. A report in Josephine's hand. Three requests in as many weeks for inclusion in our calls. If Sutherland imagines a debt, he is well on his way to paying it. These few youths have brought in allies by the score and from surprising places. We only need extend our influence in their wake. I expect our diplomats to jog to at least make it seem like work. The primary work is done. I shall begin with the neighbors. I will extend trade immediately. Could this be simpler? I suggest a retinue to welcome new territories, a simple matter, thanks to the work already done. I shall begin with the neighbors. I will extend trade immediately. Could this be simpler? I mean, what? which one do we do here? I feel... It probably doesn't matter at this point. The primary work is done. I shall begin with the neighbors. I will extend trade immediately. Could this be simpler? Let's extend trade. Sutherland's company delivered some very useful contacts. Their contribution has been immeasurable, and I hope they know it. Heavy shield. <laughs> Sutherland and crew, we did it, friends. We did it. I'm so stoked that we got that done, honestly. Wait, there's something in here. There's a quest in here. What's this quest? Is it Iron Bull? Give it to him now. Oh. Not yet. It's not enough. You know it is. You're just chicken. If I didn't love you... Shut it, you fool. Hey, Sutherland! Inquisitor, I... We have something for you. We've been saving and, well, this is yours. It's payback for all you invested, plus extra. You know, investment and such. We just wanted to say thanks. We never would have been anything without you. You're more than what you think, Sutherland. Sponsor someone like you. You earned it, you deserve it. I'm proud to have you. You earned it, Sutherland, you deserve it. That looks like pay well earned. It isn't mine to take. You hear that? That's what inspired me. That right there. Don't cry again, fool. <laughs> Inquisitor, 
You see us in the tavern? We're buying. If that's your will, your worship. Hey, you guys want to get some drinks now? Reporting, Inquisitor. Sutherland is good, friends. Reporting, Inquisitor. It feels good to get that done. Rat, do you have anything else? Reporting, Inquisitor. Oh, no. Okay, well, it looks like Bull has a quest. It's right underneath of us. It has to be. Let me look at the map here. Iron Bull. Iron Bull has a quest. We're not doing that right now. I want to talk to everyone we can in Skyhold to make sure we're good on all fronts of talking to everyone at Skyhold. And then we're going to do Sarah's mission, Bull's mission, Cassandra's mission. Maybe not in that order, but we'll just do them. Makes sense. She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. Let's discuss. You've done odd things. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? What was it? You burn turnips? We never asked them all this. You burn turnips? Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. They smell like turnip stew. You needed that soldier to smell them, so he could die thinking he'd gone home. He did go home. Oh, I guess we didn't... Yeah, I guess we didn't do this. You left plums by the window, Cole? Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. And spider webs help healers. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spider webs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. <laughs> Are you hoarding daggers, Cole? <laughs> Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. They were safer there, friends. Ask something else. Stop these activities. I'm not stopping these activities. They're subtle little helps. You know, they're helping things and stuff. Ask something else. Let's talk about something else. All right. You've done some odd things. Well, we've already... We can probably keep asking him this in time. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. Oh, that's it. Okay, you've done some odd things. The servants are having some trouble remembering some odd events. You stole cheese and mint? Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. You're making the cats play. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint? Mint makes the cats dance and play. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Sure. Right. Anything to help? You've done some odd things, Cole. I hear you've been busy. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? It looks like Cole was completely done at this point. Let's go to... I guess since we're up here... Dude... Does... Is Logan and Hawk over here? Oh, it looks like they are. Oh. Or at least Loghain is. What's up, Loghain? Did Hawk tell you? We tracked Eremon to Adamant Fortress. Idiots. So devoted to their cause that they abandoned all common sense. Isn't it so interesting hearing that from Loghain's mouth? How did this happen, Loghain? How could the Wardens do this? What did the Warden Commander tell them? Norel said we were making the hard decisions necessary to fight future blights. Wardens do what is necessary to stop the Darkspawn. We're the only ones who truly can. It's a burden few can imagine. Although, with that mark on your hand, perhaps you can. True. I'll talk to you later. Remember, remember in the first book, or second book, The Calling, how Genevieve wanted to do anything possible to stop the Blights? She and Brogan were pretty much dealing with Brogan. She and her brother... Well, her brother went missing, first of all, right? And then we end up going into the Deep Roses, that, you know, this, that, and the other. I'm going to do a short. And Duncan was part of it, of course. Fiona was part of it. King Merrick was part of it. It's kind of how Alistair got conceived in the Deep Roses around that time. <laughs> Anyways, the thing is, their whole thing was to spread the blight 
pretty much to every single person. So, the dark spawn and other people, humans, elves, dwarves, can all live together in peace. So there would be no more blights. And their, their idea of it was to kill all the archdemons as well. And of course, this was the architect's crazy plan. And of course, we all know that Darkspawn can't really reproduce besides, well, broodmothers in a sense. So it would be a futile future, basically. But still, when wardens have this idea of destroying the blight, they will just do about anything, friends. To, uh, you know. Bragan. That's his name, not Brogan. Bragan was her brother's name. I don't know why I said Brogan. Bragan. Hey, Cullen. Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Having fun. It's just a game. I didn't mean to interrupt. Having fun. Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. <laughs> I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Do we? No thank you. Let's play a game, and no thank you, you're on. Let's play a game, come on. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, <laughs> I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. She might. Tell me about your family. Play fair. Cheat. Let him win. Tell me about your family. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. Play fair. Let him win. I'm not gonna cheat. Let him win. Let's just play fair. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. It is kind of nice, though, Colin, is it not? There's no need for formality. Me too. We're focused. Me too, Colin. It's nice to just let your hair down every now and again. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> that is cheeky bastard sideways smile. <laughs> A crooked smile. I believe this one is yours. Well played. <laughs> Ace would have... Little smirk too. Oh, that was cool. Thank you, Cullen. Update. We have an update on Cullen. Let's look at the codex here. Let's look at the journal. We're going to do them as we go, friends. I'm not going to keep on missing out on these codexes here. So let's see. What updated in Cullen? Dear Mia, I'm still alive, your loving brother Cullen. Honestly, is it so difficult? We thought you were dead again. If the Inquisition was not on everyone's lips, we would never have heard that their fine commander survived Haven. We've been hearing strange things about the Templars lately. I am not sorry you left them. I thought your resignation was implied when you joined the Inquisition. But you meant something more, didn't you? It's a fool's errand asking you to stay safe, but please try. Your loving sister, see how easy this was? Yeah. And I have already read this other part for Cullen, but, I mean, you can just pause it and read if you like. But I already read that part. Let me just look at the other one that we have in here, which would be Aramond. Magister Aramond, I have asked before, but you are my closest friend, and now that you have seen the stringings of our work, I hope you might reconsider. You cannot think your talents adequately spent on roadwork metry. Roadwork metry? 
You come from the blood of the dreamers. My master will restore the Imperium to the greatness it was. It has not seen since the ancestors walked in the Golden City. He will rule not just a nation, but the world. So those who show loyalty now stand to reap the benefits when all the world kneels to the Venatori. Perhaps you are more comfortable with Rhodes. When my master returns to venture to the glory it deserves, he will be pleased to find the nation well paved. Consider well, my friend, Master Livius Araman of Vibrantium. Master Araman came up at some point, I feel like, in another game, did it not? It almost came up with Fenris's stuff, I believe. I haven't got to Dragon Age 2 on my replay, but I feel like the name Master Araman was something to do with Fenris back then. Wait, there's more characters? Did we not read all the characters? Oh. Professor, oh, Professor Frederick of Sarup. Anton, if anyone alive can answer your questions about social habits of the greater Vinmark Wyvern, it is Frederick of Sarup. Professor of Draconology at the University of Arlay, I have met him a few times and he is exceedingly knowledgeable about his field of study, although less knowledgeable about his current state of dress, the day of the week and the location of his quill and ink, but nonetheless quite brilliant. Quarterly, Master Zaudarian Antodius, something like that. Alright, characters are done. We'll get to the rest at a later date in the episodes here, but... Let me talk to Cullen once more. Let me just make sure. Wait, this is a fucking codex right here. Letter, dear me. I'm still alive, your loving brother, Cullen. Honestly, is it so difficult? We thought you were dead. Wait. We've already read that. Why is it... That works, though. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. They're not willing. Corypheus is cunning. Yeah, he is fucking cunning. What better way to demoralize the people of Thetis than to corrupt their heroes? If Corypheus appears with Templars and Wardens at his side, why shouldn't they follow too? Because now is not the time to lose hope. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. Yeah, but what happens when the Amp Inquisitions... Just like this, let's hope it never gets corrupted. Tell me more about Samson. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. It's so crazy, is it not? Why would he serve Corypheus? Samson was just a burned out Templar on the streets of Kirkwall for so long. We pretty much put him back in the Order. Sandoa put him back in the order and, well, recommended to Cullen that he would go back in the order and now look at him. Crazy. Why would he serve Corypheus? Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. I mean, I feel like that is really all it is. I almost pity Samson. Samson's gone up in the world. Don't let Samson distract you. I almost pity him. He did seem like a good kid. He helped Fainril, in a way. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him. But he had choices. He could have found another path. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. Yeah, they, they definitely are. Anything Inquisitor? Else? Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? Sarah brought me a piece of cake. She thought I looked hungry. Why are you telling me this? Because it was either an act of kindness or a trap. I was hoping you knew which. It's definitely an act of kindness. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Creating Inquisition footholds outside Skyhold has strengthened our reputation. People view us as a stabilizing force. We've received a number of recruits eager to pledge themselves to our cause. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Many of our recruits viewed the Grey Wardens as heroes. Blackwall's presence is helpful. Knowing there's one Warden immune to corruption has given people hope. Corypheus's grasp is not inescapable. Yeah, I mean, look at the look at it right here. Blackwall, of all the Wardens, is literally just shugging it off like it's nothing. Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? 
I believe Dagna has settled in well. She's certainly very cheerful. Is that a bad thing? I'm concerned she'll cheerfully blow up Skyhold with one of her experiments. <laughs> but the risk is small at present. Yeah. I'm just going to expend all this. Let's expend it all because we're going into the next main mission very shortly. Is there anything I should know? Not at present. Everything we can talk about. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? Everything we can talk about with any of these people, we're going to just do it all now. What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. Anything else? How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. It's crazy how far Liliana has come and what she has done from the beginning when we first seen her in Origins to now. Crazy. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our soldiers are well disciplined and committed to the cause. Templars and mages are not used to seeing each other as allies, but they are working together well enough thus far. I should let you get back to work. Take care, Cullen. Always a pleasure, my friend. Enjoy your cake that Sarah got you. Hello, Lizette. How are you? Your worship. <laughs> hey, Blackwall, you got anything good? Anything world shaking and all the stuff and things? We need to head to Adamant Fortress as soon as possible. If there's a chance we can stop Corypheus from destroying the Wardens, we can't let it slip away. Damn right, Special. What is Adamant? Are Wardens being corrupted? Yeah, what is Adamant? What do you think we'll uncover in Adamant? Nothing good. Hearing the Warden's plan was bad enough. Now we'll see it firsthand. Best case, we find a nightmare. Worst, we'll find a nightmare, then die painfully. I still can't believe what they're doing. I thought I understood the order. You're kind of, like, really on point when saying you'll find a nightmare. <laughs> he really is. Are Wardens really being corrupted, Blackwell? Beric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. The Blackwall is so, like, out of touch with the Wardens. Just, like, his dialogue with everything. He either don't want to talk about the Wardens that much, or he's just so out of touch with it. He doesn't know. It's like, I mean, he did tell us that he was, you know, recruiting on his own for so many years. We need to find them. How's your state of mind? How are you, though, Blackwall? Are you feeling all right? No voices or anything? If I start hearing things, I promise you'll be the first to know. Anything else? Tell me about the Wardens. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. Yeah, but how do you kill an Archdemon? How do the Wardens deal with Archdemons? Short answer. Stick it with swords until it stops moving. I suppose you'd know. It can't be that simple. Well, it's definitely not that simple. We know from the first game it has to be a warden that makes that final blow. It can't be that simple. Wardens are in all the stories. If it was that easy, anyone could do it. No, it really is that simple. Just because the Archdemon is magic doesn't mean it can't be killed with swords. It just has to be a Grey Warden sword. Look, it's not the killing blow that's the problem. It's getting the dragon to the point where it's vulnerable, where it actually can be killed. There's no short answer for that, I'm afraid. I mean, he has a point. It really is. That's the hardest thing. When we, in the first game, when we took out the Archdemon, all the sacrifices that was made just to get the dragon to the ground. Remember Riordan jumping off the tower, jabbing his blade into the wing, and then he basically sacrificed himself, and then me and Alistair, actually it was me and Logan at the time, well, we were left to, uh, kill the Archdemon. But still, tell me about the calling. Have you been hearing the calling, too? I know what Corypheus is. He has no sway over me. He just looks at- He just listens and looks at it right in the face and says, fuck it. Let's continue this at another time. <laughs> As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Corypheus has no sway over Something me. Something on your mind. Uh, a lot of things. How much do you know about Corypheus? How much do you know about Corypheus? Not much. I always thought the stories of Magisters corrupting the Golden City were just that. 
Stories. I didn't expect them to be true, and I certainly didn't expect to find one of them still alive. Why didn't you know? Don't the Grey Wardens know everything about Darkspawn? You don't have to know how a Darkspawn came to be in order to kill it with soldiers, not historians. And the world would be better off if people focused on defeating evil rather than explaining how it came to be. Yeah, but the Wardens, I feel like... What's so crazy is that... Just the information with the Wardens... I'm gonna resort back to the calling book. The Bregan person... Warden, the Bregan. He was a commander of the Grey at the time, I think of Orlay. But he had the knowledge and location of every single... What the hell is that in the background? <laughs> it looks like a mammoth. Anyways, he has... He had the location of all the Archdemons, basically. And he went down to the Deep Roads for his calling. And, well... Unfortunately, that's how the Architect ended up finding where the locations of all the Archdemons were. What I'm getting at is the Wardens, it's like some of them have so much information, but other ones are just fucking lost in the sauce and they don't know. I always find the stuff with the Warden is so damn interesting, and it's also like, there's always so much answers, questions that need to be answered with the Wardens. Like, just so many. It's odd that Corypheus lives, yeah. Corypheus stopped being human a long time ago. Darkspawn don't have human lifespans, do they? No, I suppose they don't. They're unnatural and sustained by... evil. It's been thousands of years. You'd think the Wardens would have managed to kill the first Darkspawn by now. Yeah, but... Corypheus is... He's something more, friend. Are there more like Corypheus? Do you know if there are more Darkspawn like Corypheus? I don't know. I'm not sure any Warden knows. See, this is what I mean. An architect only a, a select few of Wardens even know about him. I mean, YSAP, I wonder, like, we got I want to speak to the leader of the Wardens, like, at YSAP. Let's discuss something else. Thoughts of the Inquisition. What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. Right. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still... I trust him to watch my back. Lilian and Cullen's been through some shit. You must have some feelings about our friends. Talked with Solus the other day. That man knows all there is to know about everything. He's been in the Fade and he does things and stuff in the Fade. <laughs> I mean... We should return to our duties. As you wish. <laughs> you are, after all, in charge. All right, Superman, enjoy your barn. Let me look back here and see if Quizquisition's guys around having fun. No. All right, let's head to... I guess we'll head inside. We head inside now. And we could possibly talk to... Solus, Dorian, Liliana, Vivian. All of the bunch. It wasn't so bad today. The cook was in a jolly mood. She didn't shout at all, even when I dropped the ladle. Good, it's because of all the stuff Cole's doing for you guys. He loves you all. He certainly does. Oh, and we gotta talk to Josephine as well. Every little codex in Skyhold, by the way, is red and accounted for. We picked up everything. We have something on to sit in judgment of someone. I don't know if we were holding it because it was the mayor, possibly. But I have the mayor's operation not... We didn't do it. Technically. What's up here? This is Vivian's, right? I guess we'll go talk to Vivian since she's we're right here anyway. And then we'll make our way around to all the rest of them. Do you need something, my dear? What's up, Viv? Let's talk about our friends. Any chance we might? Oh. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? I don't know what to make of Solus. So much knowledge and so little personal history. I find that peculiar. Don't you? A little bit. Well, she ain't gonna get on board with Ace, so let's just not worry uh, about that. What's up, Varric? Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? Hey, man, I'm a dwarf too. Tell me about Red Lyrium. Tell me about Corypheus, special. I have questions about Hawk. Do you believe I'm the Herald? Oh. Tell me the truth, Varric. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. 
Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. You believe in Andraste, Eric? I wouldn't have pegged you as an Andrastian. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. What's not to like? I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit, it could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. Are those my only options? Could be both. There's no reason to believe. I mean, what do you think? Could it be both? Let's be realistic. It could be both. You've got a point. Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the fade. You traveled through time, faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. So I have divine bad luck. I'm not the chosen one. I see your point. So, yeah, we have divine bad luck, technically. So on the basis of my extraordinarily bad luck, you think I'm Andraste's herald? If you know the story of Andraste, you know that bad luck is sort of her thing. True. Very true. Need something? But I'd or say she had here to admire the dwarf. I'd say she had some good luck at as well. I have questions about Hawk. I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Yeah, I was about to say, I know we have already Carry on. We've already did all that. I can spare some time. What do you need? Everything else is probably done. I have a personal question. Tell me about Red Lyrium. Tell me about Corypheus. What can you tell me about this Corypheus? I'm not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. Oh, how did you find him? How did you first encounter him? A few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carta clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. We tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far enough into the rune, there was a magic barrier that kept you from going back. The whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. Yeah, that's what they thought. But it wasn't true. Why didn't they just kill him? Yeah. Why? I've never heard of wardens locking up Darkspawn. Why wouldn't they just kill him and be done with it? I don't think they could. From what we saw in there, Corypheus can control wardens somehow. They couldn't attack him. The wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. In the second game, when Hulk technically killed Corypheus, when he got the killing blow on Corypheus, the camera view went from Corypheus and it kind of went to Larias, the other warden that was there helping us, the blighted fucking warden. And right then and there, when we killed Corypheus, Larias was different, friends. He was, like, very much different. So it's like Corypheus transferred his power, almost like the Archdemon would do. If you kill an Archdemon, technically... Technically, an Archdemon can be killed by a regular person, but the Archdemon will come back. Only the Warden, a Warden, can kill the Archdemon. But Wardens cannot hurt Corypheus at this point. And normal people can hurt him, but Corypheus will just transfer into another body and become Corypheus again. Another Warden body, basically. What is he? He looks like some sort of blighted creature, but he speaks. What is he exactly? The Wardens who imprisoned him thought he was just a darkspawn. But you heard him ranting. He claims he's a magister, one who assaulted the Golden City, what, more than a thousand years ago? It seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, he's one of the people who caused the Blights. If that's what we are led to believe caused the Blights, though, we don't know. You said he should, yeah, he should be dead. You and Hawk both said before he was supposed to be dead. He was dead. We killed him. The only way for us to escape the prison Corypheus was trapped in was to go through him. We weren't going to just leave the door to his prison open behind us and hope he was dead. We made sure. All right, I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. Hey, Varric, anything else, Need friend? something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? I do love admiring the dwarf. Tell me about Red Lyrium. I want to know more about Red Lyrium. I'll tell you what I can. Why would Templars take it? How does it petrify people? Yeah, why would Templars take it? What could the Templars want with it? In Kirkwall, just having the Lyrium Idol made Knight Commander Meredith impossibly strong. Before it turned her into a Lyrium statue, anyway. 
Maybe they thought the power was worth it, or maybe they didn't know the consequences. Friends. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Wait. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. The whole situation in the second game plays such a big effect. Like, could you just imagine, seriously, the second game is my favorite Dragon Age game of all time. I know that it reuses, like, things and stuff, areas. But Dragon Age 2 was so well done. It was the best Dragon Age game in my eyes. I can spare some time. What do you need? But, did you, would you just imagine what they would have done if they had actually more time for that game? But why I'm bringing this up is because he's talking about Meredith and stuff. But just imagine what they would have truly done. Varric probably wouldn't have... He wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't even be talking to Varric because the Exalted Marsh DLC probably would have happened. And I believe Varric was a corpse in that DLC. I think... I believe from what I was reading that he would have died in that DLC. I want to know more about Red Lyrium. I'll tell you what I can. But it's good that they never made it. How does it petrify people? I've seen it infect people like a disease and turn them to Lyrium. How can it do that? That's a good question. To tell the truth, we don't really know what that shit can do to a person. And I don't want to find out. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. No, friend. Red Lyrium is crazy. If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. <laughs> Personal question? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. That's it for now. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Take it easy, Varric. It's always a pleasure. I can't believe we didn't expend Varric's dialogue until now. Look, friends, we have the Archdemon... thing. <laughs> Done. What's up, Solus? Anything going on in here, buddy? Are you coming through, Inquisitor? Oh, I guess there is. Note from Liliana. Uh... <laughs> What? Something wrong with your tea? It is tea. I detest this stuff. But this morning, I need to shake the dreams from my mind. I may also need a favor. <laughs> we miss... We miss Solus's brooding. What was that letter? <laughs> Get on with it. You? Really? Name it. Really? You? But you don't need anything from anyone. You're known for that. One of my oldest friends has been captured by mages, forced into slavery. I heard the cry for help as I slept. We'll rescue your friend. How did you hear cries? You have, fr you have friends? How did you hear? When your friend was captured, how did he... she... It. It? My friend is a spirit of wisdom. Unlike the spirits clamoring to enter our world through the rifts, it was dwelling quite happily in the Fade. It was summoned against its will. And wants my help to gain its freedom and return to the Fade. Why didn't it want in? Yeah. Wait, what? Why didn't it want in? Why would they summon it? Yeah, why didn't it want in? I thought spirits wanted to find their way into this world. Some do, certainly. Just as many Orlesian peasants wish they could journey to exotic Ravain. But not everyone wants to go to Ravain. My friend is an explorer seeking lost wisdom and reflecting it. It would happily discuss philosophy with you. But it had no wish to come here physically. Okay. Why would they summon it, though? Do you have any idea what the mages want with your friend? No. It knows a great deal of lore and history, but a mage could learn that simply by speaking to it in the Fade. It is possible that they seek information it does not wish to give, and intend to torture it. I'll help. I can go along with it. Let's just help him. Sure, if it's Solus's friend, it can be our friend as well. All right. Let's go get your friend. Thank you. I got a sense of my friend's location before I awoke. I'll mark it on our map. Well, there's another... Codex Unlock Spirit of Wisdom. There is another quest here. We must stop the Wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. <laughs> to seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. Yeah, but why do you care? Don't forget about the demons. It was a good idea. Yeah, don't forget about the demons. And calling the army of demons. That's my favorite part. The demons are nothing. They're a tool. <laughs> a tool that gives Corypheus an army. That's not the point. Even if they could succeed, the entire idea is wrong. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. 
Why, though? Don't you want the old gods defeated? How can I help? How can I help? Tell me about your journeys. Tell me about Corypheus. Let me see about your journeys. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Whoa, we have a lot of stuff. Did we not just do any dialogue? I am I was thought that when I went through the let's play, I thought that we were actually good with uh, dialogue. I guess we weren't. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tig no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay. The victims of a dark spawn horde. Their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. Tell me about spirits. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walked the Fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great for Elden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Tell me about old memories, Solus. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. That's we'll talk cool. later. Goodbye. Look, we gotta figure out what the hell this codex was. We can't just not read that. It was something important. I believe this scout gave it to us. I, I've never seen this scout. I don't think I've ever really seen this scout here. Codex? What the hell was that? It was under letters and... Oh, that's magic. It was under letters and notes. A challenge. So, I cannot find this letter that we just seen... Well, during Solus's cutscene, so it looks like maybe this scout was giving it to us at the same time. The Magister's birthright? Hey, Honchart, a visit? Wait, what? When Dorian went south, he did so with little in the way of coin and sold an amulet that proves his connection to House Pavis. A merchant from Valerio named Ponchard D. something now has the amulet and apparently refuses to give it back to Dorian and pay Ponchard a visit. I knew it was something with Dorian because I kind of like briefed over it a little bit, but I want to find that letter. If anything, I can slow it down. I can, after the, re I can look at it during the edit and read it, but I can't find it in the journal anywhere. It's under letters, of course, but it's not in there. I can keep trying before we do this mission. One of Solus' old friends says Spirit has been summoned against its will and needs his help. Find the Spirit with Solus in the Exalted Plains. We have a lot of companion missions. So we're actually probably not going to get to the main mission at the moment. Of Apologies, course. Apologies, Your Worship. Running. Listen, give me that fucking letter again, damn it. I don't want to go back because... Let me quick save. Let me see if I can go back to an auto save and get it again. No, it doesn't look like it. Though, this lady's gone now. That we did that. We the Last save is like an hour... Hour back, and I'm definitely not going an hour back. Good afternoon. Let's see what Solus has. Tell me about your journey. Tell me about Corypheus. Anything about Corypheus? I need to know more about Corypheus. You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. Spoiled his glorious victory. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. He must continue on his course or show weakness. He will return to his plans to throw Ole into chaos and then conquer it for Devinta. Tell me about your journeys. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Old ruins. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found in the Kokari Wilds a humble cottage far removed from any of the simple chastened tribesmen. The trees and weeds had not reclaimed the home, nor did the chastened dare to come and steal the trinkets still remaining. It was empty, long abandoned, but the world feared that you might return. Talking about Flemeth. Has to be. <laughs> Tell me about the spirits. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I found an ancient spirit who had once been undisputed king of almost every land I had discovered. Like pride or rage, it was the Fade's reflection of a feeling. 
When I asked which one it was, the spirit faltered. They've forgotten, said the spirit. There remains no word for what I was. Tell me about the old memories. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a young canary working in a simple kitchen, baking bread as she was ordered every morning. In every loaf, she broke the rules. She'd take a pinch of sugar and fold it into the center, like a secret. And this act of small rebellion brought a shining smile across her face. <laughs> we'll talk later. Goodbye. You want to make people happy, Solus. My friend. Away. Anything else on your journeys? I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I think I have shared everything of note. I should spend some time encountering more stories. Maybe you should. We'll talk later. Goodbye. So that letter had to be something with Dorian. It's romance stuff. But damn it, man. Where the fuck can we get that letter at again? It's not in the codexes anywhere. Unless it would be under Dorian's... I doubt it. No. It's under letters and notes. Just... Could be groups. Let me look under letters and notes one more time. I'm not sure. What we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to slow it down and see if I can get the name of it and then look. Because I can't find anything that may have been from Dorian in the letters. And if I can't get it, well, then we're all just gonna have to pause at that point in time and read it. What's up, Dorian? Always with the questions. What will people say? I'm guessing it's probably about this amulet of, of yours. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably his romance stuff. So let's talk about the amulet. I've been told something about an amulet. How did you hear that? Oh, Liliana. Of course she would find out. Don't make an issue of it. I don't want someone solving my personal problems for me. I'll get the amulet back. Somehow. On my own. What exactly? Yeah, what is it exactly? I'm not entirely certain what it is. The Parvus birthright. The flashy thing you show peons to make them tremble at your impressive lineage. I didn't leave Tavinta with much in the way of coin, so I sold it. Entirely forbidden, of course, and foolish, but I was desperate. I'll figure something out. Why would you want it, then? You don't even like your family. Why would you want it back? Because it's mine, and it shouldn't be... Passed around like candy. That's the only reason? It's reason enough. Leave it be. There's always a way. You haven't got a plan, have you? Yeah, there's always a way. There are plenty of ways to skin a nug, Dorian. We'll think of something. And I will. I'll get it back. I lost the amulet. I may not have your resources, but I can't ask you to... You have too many people asking you for everything under the sun. I won't be one of them. <laughs> hey, Pontro to visit. It was something for Liliana. I did see Liliana's name in there, and that's what I was looking at. But... Fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here. I need to talk to you. Just talk? Such a pity. Came for a kiss? I need to end this. Let's spend time together. Let's spend some time together. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers? Perish the thought. But if you insist, a game of wicked grace will have to do. Time to take all your coin. <laughs> hey man, hold on. I'm Always done with you yet. A sight for sore eyes. So it's definitely a romance thing for Dorian. I need to talk to you. About how much you adore me, I assume? I hear that so often. <laughs> I came for a kiss, Dorian. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Have it your way, but let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. <laughs> oh, close your eyes, friends. It's getting steamy. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, Dorian, take care, my friend. Fiona? I met Loghain long ago. When I was a Grey Warden. Oh. Odd. He should be one now, while I am not. His suspicion of us bordered on the fanatical. It doesn't surprise me you found the Wardens mixed up in all this. From first-hand experience, 
You should be wary any time my old order is involved. Yeah. You were a Grey Warden? You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. What do you think caused it, though? Seriously, think about it. Fiona is Alistair's mother. Her and Merrick had a little thing on the floor of the Deep Roads, as Algren would say. Anyways, they did some things and stuff in the Deep Roads, and, well, poof. Alistair was made. But the thing is, right? What made her lose the blight inside of her? There was two things that come in mind from that book, The Calling. There's a lot of throwbacks to The Calling in this episode. But anyways, Merrick's stuff. <laughs> Seriously, Merrick's stuff. You think that was the reason that it, the Theron bloodline is exceptional? So maybe his <laughs> stuff took it away. Or... Because she got pregnant. Technically, she ended up getting pregnant as a warding. I don't think you're completely... I believe there's like a 1% chance. I believe in the book she said there's a small chance that they can... That wardens can become pregnant. It's a very slim chance. So, would that be why? Basically, because she was... You know, blooming life inside of her. That it got conceived, Alistair. That took away her connection to being a great warden because they did try to initiate her again she was saying try to put her through the joining again and it did not work nothing worked so it makes me wonder if that's it or there was one other situation in the book that fiona they were in the deep roads and they all came in contact with a dwarven tag there was like a king or something sitting on a throne right but the king itself was a demon it was all bones everywhere, right? And the king itself was a demon. And basically, the demon put them all to sleep, just like how it was in Dragon Age Origins. It was the same thing in Dragon Age Origins as it is in the books. They put them all to sleep, and in the process of that, everyone was sleeping. They had to get out of their dreams, this, that, and the other. But Fiona ended up getting possessed by this demon. But not only was she possessed by this demon, the demon turned her into a fucking abomination. So she was no longer Fiona. She was fully abominated. And after Merrick and all the rest of them got out of the dream, they broke Fiona out of the dream too. Fiona kind of just changed from not being an abomination back to Fiona. So I wonder if that took away her stuff from being a warden. I don't know, friends. There's a lot of shit that's going on here. It's a lot of unanswered questions, that's for damn sure. That didn't bother you, though? You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. You started the rebellion. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. So, do you still lead the mages at this point? You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. The Circles will return, you know. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after Probably. all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. 
There must be another solution. I'm gonna be honest. In the next game, I really do hope 100% like... I'm kind of done with the Mage Templar thing. Seriously. I'm kind of like over it. I'd imagine a lot of people are too. To be fair, we were all probably over it around the time we played Dragon Age 2 when Anders would talk about it non-stop. But... Things happened, and they needed to happen. Things needed to change. But I just want them to move on from the Mage Templar thing. I want to see a different thing. You know? Everything is well. I trust everything is well with the mages? Most are pleased with the Alliance. Even if we wonder what will happen next. I'll leave you to it. Was there anything else in the I warden? heard of your verdict on Alexios, Inquisitor. Research on your behalf is almost too kind. I hope you know what you're doing. Do be wary of anything that man proposes. You were a great warden, still like the mages? Well, we already asked that stuff. I'll leave you to it. Anything else? Greetings again, Inquisitor. Take care. I'll leave you to it. Have a good day, Fiona. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your stay. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Continue her predecessor's work op operation available. How are your duties? We've already asked that. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Let me just ask you it again. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on a partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. We probably have stuff for you. I'll do that war table thing and stuff. Oh, we're about to level up at some point before we do the main mission. But we have... Look, we have a bunch of companion quests to do here. I damn want to fucking read that letter that was given to us on Dorian. We're missing things here, man. So Varric knew where the champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. Well, look at her legs. <laughs> Any uh, updates? Anything I should know? Our agent stationed near Adamant reports strange sounds. Curious lights around the fortress. At least two scouts have gone missing. We must make our move and quickly. Definitely. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. All right, well, the companions are pretty much good to go for the most part. Who else do we have? We got Sarah that we need to talk to, and we talked to Blackwell. I'm thinking that we're done, really. See you, Liliana. Ah! Hey, Solus, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Vivian was good. Solus was good. Varric was good. We talked to Loghain over there. Who were we missing? I feel like we're missing someone. We talked to Cassandra. That's who we're missing. I want that letter again. It's really bugging me that I didn't get that letter, damn it. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll do Dorian's quest. Not right Need now. For the training I want to do it at least Moving after time. this episode. So I can at least go back and read that letter. See what the hell it said. Hey, Cassandra! Good book. Ah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course you don't. What are you hiding? Are you embarrassed? Of course you don't. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. <laughs> so you read you read them all? <laughs> the latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. <laughs> I should read it. Oh, we can actually still romance Cassandra? Look, we're, we're committed to Dorian. We're staying with Dorian, all right? As much as Cassandra's romance probably would be amazing. Wouldn't dream of it. He... He'd be pleased. I wouldn't dream of it. Me? No. I would never. <sighs> They're terrible. And 
magnificent. <laughs> and this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You, you could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> Pretend you don't know this about me. Let's talk to her again about that book. She was so excited about this frivolous, smutty literature. <laughs> I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. Definitely. So, hey, you're a romantic? So, that book you were reading. Ugh. Oh, yes. What of it? So under that <laughs> taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies and frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? I like that about you. Well, we can still keep flirting with her. I do want to flirt. Like, I really do. But I just we can't lead Dorian on at this point. We just can't do it. It's just unexpected. Nothing at all. Waste of time. Nothing at all, Cassandra. Oh, I quite agree with you. Then why are you laughing at me? I wasn't. <sighs> I will never hear the end of this, will I? No, you will not. There is a rumor being circulated. I find it hard to credit, but it suggests you and Dorian are... Are what? <sighs> Romantically involved. That's none of your concern. You're jealous. It's true. That's none of your concern. What is this heart breaking up this heart? You're jealous. It's because probably we, we did flirt with her in the beginning because I didn't really know what we were going to take Ace, you know? I want to feel things out. We were definitely flirting with her in Haven. It's true? It's true. Yes, I suppose it's true. Ah, oh, I must admit I am a little surprised. Why? Nothing serious? Yeah, why? It's nothing serious. Why? Just... why? I don't see why. True enough. It is your business, and I will leave it at that. Well, I guess that just broke it off with Cassandra. Okay, so it was still lingering with Cassandra like a romantic thing. I really did want to romance Cassandra too, but I really feel like... The Dorian one... I've only... I, I don't really remember, honestly. I don't know if I've even ever finished the Dorian romance. Like your advice? Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's <laughs> possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinta mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. Any advice? Do you have any advice for me? Watch the treasury carefully, with that Sarah present. You think she's here to rob us? Possibly not. But I would hardly put it past her. Any advice? Do you have any advice for me? It's good that you recruited Enchanter Vivian into the Inquisition. She is ambitious, but has always shown sense in her dealings with the Chantry. My advice would be to watch her, but heed her when she speaks. That one wastes no words. Any advice? Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. Anything else? Do you have any advice for me? We must root out the Red Templars. They form the bulk of Corypheus' forces. True, we will. The Venatori, though, is still a thing. Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. True. Very true. But at this point, I mean, who do you even think can be divine? Do you have any advice for me? Nothing that you could not think of yourself, Inquisitor. Thank you. That's enough for now. Another time, then. So, it's been so long since I played this game, friends, and the only romance that I fully remember, kind of, is just hers, but I don't even really remember that. The Dorian thing, I'm like so broken up right now because the letter, we don't have this damn letter. We're going to read that letter. If anything, I'll slow it down. I'll type it up and put it in the description or something. Or I'll make a comment of it and pin it. So we have the codex so we can read it. But I need I need to read that damn codex. I want to do Dorian's mission immediately. But we need to read that damn codex. What's up, Harding? Going well, I hope. 
anything new. What are you doing here? Tell me about yourself. I feel like we've already asked her all about herself, but what's new? What's been going on? That strange boy came in with an armful of chickens. You're you're looking after him, right? <laughs> what's been going on? Dorian's awfully pretty, isn't he? Yeah, he is pretty. What's been going on? They've done a lot with this place. I'm impressed. You like the new arena? Want to go get in it? What's been going on? They've done a lot with this place. I'm impressed. Let's just ask her about herself because I want to refresh her. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> Look, I'm hearing tale of maybe Harding being a companion in the next game or something. She's in some books. I know that. I haven't read that far ahead. Like I said, I'm on the book now would be... I would be on the book, um... Cole's book, whatever it is. Whatever the name of Cole's book is. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. But that's the book that I'm on. But anyways, Harding and Varric are in some books. Co or comics or whatever. So, I would love it if Harding would be in the next game, friends. They just need to give us a dwarf. Give us a damn dwarf companion again. That we can romance. Please. Tell me about yourself, yeah. So who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that thing out there. What's new? What's been going on? Just relaxing. Taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. Damn right. Take care. Okay, we can talk to Bull, I think. Let's see. We should probably talk to... Let's do Sarah's quest. We haven't talked to Sarah, but Bull's good. Krem is good. Can't talk to her yet. I believe she has a quest at some point. Maybe. Cole is good. Oh, no. Wait. Fine. Let's not do that. Let's go back to Varric and tell Varric about the book. <laughs> Cassandra. Maybe we can get some continuation on that. But the advisors... Oh, we haven't talked to Josephine yet, either. We'll talk to Josephine. And then sit at judgment. I'm not sure what this is. I need to see what the hell that is. But I don't, I don't want to do anything that has anything to do with the mayor of... Something you wanted to talk about? Not yet, anyway, special. Cassandra wants a book, Varric. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. Yeah. Hold on, Varric. I'm kind of in a crazy position here. That's fine. You sound surprised. Yes, she's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Yeah. Wait. Did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. How do I move the fucking shit? There we go, Varric. Sorry. I was cutting off your glorious head. Cassandra seems to like it. Can't be that bad. I need it as a gift. Cassandra seems to like it. Oh, well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. <laughs> Absolutely. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. <laughs> Guilty pleasures. Give Cassandra the latest chapter of Swords and Shields. Did you see the front of the book? It looked like Aveline. <laughs> Varric probably read that book because of Aveline and Donic. You know that, right? <laughs> it seems Cassandra really likes Varric's book, Swords and Shields, and she's caught up. The book's unfinished. See Varric about getting the last, the last chapter for Cassandra. Give Cassandra the latest chapter of Swords and Shields. Should we? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna give Cassandra the book. 
She's going to be pissed, but it's going to be great. Friends, look at our arena. I love this. For some reason, just... I love a haven, okay? I really love the haven. I don't love it more than Skyhold, obviously, because it's our own fortress, basically. But these sounds here of swords and shields clanking together. That's why I really love that upgrade. I just love it hearing it. You know, it's so quiet around Skyhold without it. Got her. She's sitting in a chair waiting. She just can't wait. Though, if we would have did the other one, this place would have been up and running. There would have been people in here being attended to. But I don't think there's any conversations in there. But still, I mean, we could have done that. I just love the swords and shields. I mean, I want to keep the uh, place up. Fighting status. What have you done now? <laughs> I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. <laughs> Fucking Avalie, look at her. This is your doing. Oh, yeah. None other. I hope you like it. Yeah, definitely our doing. None other. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? <laughs> well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. <laughs> well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. <laughs> I... Thank you. Varric is so glorious. Look at him. Thank Varric. Yeah, thank Varric and his glorious chest hair. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. <laughs> ah, completely worth it. Fucking game, man. I fucking love these companions so much in this game. <laughs> they feel so real, friends. Everything. It's just, it just, it, I don't know. It's just done so damn well. Can we look at completed quests and see if something came up on the inner circle? Oh, we have so much that we can actually read. The Inner Circle. Forgotten Boy. Guilty Pleasures. Oh, it doesn't actually come up with anything. Interesting. We can read... Well, this has always been an interesting thing in Dragon Age as a whole. That's something that I'm doing now, too, in my, uh, rerun of, of Origins and such. I'm reading every little thing that comes up. Every little thing. You'll be surprised that actually if you read, you know, quests beforehand and go to the completed tab and read the quest after, you get a little bit more information on and such, too. Which is pretty cool. What level up should we do now? See, I kind of want to give Ace, I really want to give him Pincushion. I really, really, really do. Is this ability still bugged here? Gaps in armor, 25% armor penetration. I believe it came up a long time ago that that ability was bugged. I don't know if it still is, but I guess we'll see in time. Let's work towards getting pincushion because this is going to be so good for Ace. Hey, we leveled up. No. Do you want to apply your pending? No. Right. Hold on. That's what did we give him? We're going to work towards pincushion. I feel like it's going to be so powerful for Ace. We have to do it. Let us go to... Well, we got bulls. I want to... Let's see oh. if Cassandra has anything else now. And then we'll see if Varric has anything else. Then we should do Sarah's, Sarah's little quest. Oh, Cassandra has something. Cool. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. 
Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make things better, you can't guess? Well, we, we should make things better at this point, right? We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. True. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. You're too idealistic. I don't want the same things. I mean, all things considered, what we want is what we want, and it's probably a little bit different, but those are admirable goals, to say the least. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You admire me? I obey my conscience? I make it up as I go? Yeah, I mean, pretty much make it up as we go. You admire me? You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. I just make it up as I go, honestly. I'm not that assured. I just make it up as I go. <laughs> Let all your followers take heart. <laughs> what can I say? It's worked so far. When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But <laughs> I am. The Maker chose well. I don't deserve that. Thank you. I hope we're friends. I hope we're friends out of all things that's happened so far. I do hope. I hope we can call each other friends. I hope so too. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. We certainly do have a long ass road to travel. We're not even remotely close to the end, Cassandra. Hey, where's the where's the where's the screen at? It all went black. <laughs> there we go. Look, Cassandra's ready to do some damage. Anything else? I trust all is well. Hey, anything else? Do you have any advice for me? Watch the new recruits. Liliana says spies are inevitable, and I agree. True. Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. We've already... anything else? Do you have any advice for me? We must guard Skyhold carefully. There is no telling when Corypheus will next attack. That's what we're getting ready for now. Holy. Do you have any advice for me? You know what you need to do, Inquisitor. Take care, Cassandra. That's enough for now. Another time, then. We will find your missing seekers... Soon, I promise. Let's go to Varric and see if Varric has anything. If Varric has nothing, then friends, I think Inquisitor. we expended everyone's dialogue. I think we're good. But I don't think Varric will have anything, I'd imagine. Hey, Varric. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? I love admiring the dwarf. Where's the question? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. No. Thanks, Varric. No problem. All right, well, we left Sarah for last, and let's go talk to Sarah, because of her mission we got so long ago. Let me look at the journal. Do we have anything for Sarah here? Inner circle? And we got so many. Rochelle. Inquisition troops march through Rochelle. Without incident, talk to Sarah about the march. Okay. Let's go talk to Sarah about the march and we'll do sure that. I really want to do bulls as well. And then we need to Our do solaces and open up that place. It's solaces is taking us to a place that we're going to have to open up. 
Which I'll definitely do probably off camera, but we'll do it in between or after Adamant. I don't think I'm going to do it before. What's up, Sarah? I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Who is paying us? Who's putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. Okay, let's go. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Well, Sarah is automatically coming. Let's take Dorian and who haven't we took in a while? How about we take a Sandra? Sure. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Of course, it's gone wrong. What are you doing here? Calm down, I can help. Yeah, what are you doing here? What's your name and why are you here? He made me come. Said I had to lead him to her because I said things. It was just bar talk. This was supposed to be a simple drop. What's going on? You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. <laughs> Hello! My name is Ace. Our thing stuff. Let's mark them. Hidden blades them. Oh, that kind of hurt a little bit. Blow it up and execute his ass. Oh, wrong guy. Wait, because Sandra's just chilling back here. Come on in. Why do our warriors get bugged? I just never understand it. Good written. Well, this guy. What is this guy doing? Hey, Hidden blades. Oh, oh, hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. Should we get whoop his ass? Hold on, everyone's got level ups here, so we need to level them up. Cassandra, let's go back to Templar and... I kind of want to give her the spell here and put it down here. Yeah, let's give her the spell. What does the spell do again? Through faith and will, you dispel all hostile magic from an area around you. Oh, Eldritch Detonator. So basically, if we stun someone, we can dispel and it will literally do a big explosion, right? Or like a, almost like a nightmare type of thing. We'll do a combo. Let's just say that. Dorian, what can we do for you, Dorian? I'm thinking that we upgrade Walking Bomb for Dorian here. If Walking Bomb kills a target... The affected spreads to nearby enemies, causing secondary explosions. Manually, let's do the secondary explosions. Let's do Verlant. Yeah. There you go, Dorian. I wish we can give him Guardian Spirit, man. This ability right here is so rough to use. Simulacrum. If you are knock unconscious, a spirit you control takes on your likeliness and fights on behalf for a short time. The spirit draws magic directly from the fade casting spells costs nothing basically and you cannot be revived by any means until the spirit leaves see that's very rough it basically for 10 seconds you just do a buttload more uh spamming of your abilities and such which is okay and but i wish i can just get rid of this and still have walking bomb and then give him guardian spirit but we cannot oh wait hold on we have one more as well, right? Sarah's. Hey, Sarah, what can I give you? Well, let's go in the Tempest Tree for Sarah. I want... Yeah, Thunderstruck. Flask of Lightning is more concentrated, making time almost stop around you. 
Each enemy you damage while this effect is active takes additional electricity damage when it ends. And duration, let's do this one. Thunderstruck. Definitely. So what is in her bow tray? Oh man, why? We should have gave her first blood. Son of a bitch. That's fine. It, I mean, it is what it is. We'll get it all eventually. Let's take a potion. Bronze acorn charm? Hey man, what were you got going on here? What the hell were you doing, noble? There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. That's my ally you attacked, yeah. What do you want? You started this? That's my ally you attacked. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as Inquisitor, you are a social peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Ass biscuit. <sighs> Quite. Inquisitor, Herald, <laughs> I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. You'll serve the Inquisition? Just kill him, Sarah? Oh, we can make him serve the Inquisition. He's kind of a fucking piece of shit. What was going on in Michelle? What do you expect in return? What can you commit to us? You killed innocent contacts? What, yeah, what was going on in Rochelle? You were up to something in Rochelle, Harmond. What was it? If you mean bettering my wealth and position, I'm always seeking that. By getting people hurt? <sighs> Lady Shell Morveau and I were jockeying for the land south of Rochelle. To claim land, you must populate it. My people encouraged hers to leave. Her people answered in kind... Etc. Really, it was all terribly standard displacement until your troops seemed to change the balance. Well played. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. You can commit. Yeah, what can you? What can you commit to us? What would you be willing to commit to the Inquisition? Why even ask? Because a leader needs such information to make informed decisions. My family has ties across Lower Ferelden. Our presence in Orlais is recent, which is why I resorted to subterfuge. We have militia elsewhere, and they can be made expendable for your purposes. Tell the snot splash no already. Not saying again. <laughs> She's probably going to kill him if we ask more stuff. I think that's the point of saying... Should we just let her just kill him, Sarah? I'd like to partner with you. No, I don't want to partner with him. Get out of my sight. He'll serve the Inquisition. Should we just make him serve the Inquisition? He probably won't like it, and it's going to be a slap in the face. But it will bring on more people for the Inquisition, in a sense. Let's make him serve. A partnership gets me your enemies. I need the territory. What are you doing? He's half the mess in Vachelle. And now his job is recruiting the other. Consider your lands and title requisitioned. You opened the bargaining. Think of your immediate options. Surprising. Disappointing, but also welcome over the alternative. <laughs> Won't be hearing from you again. Be sure to return the favor. She farted. <laughs> she made fart noises at him. Take that, motherfucker. She actually loved that. Hey, that works out in the long run. Because you gotta figure that nobles... We just took his shit. What? <laughs> There's you. How is that Harmond mess, hey? I should be angry you let him live. But his kind really hate a leash. I mean, he deserved worse for turning it all bad. But we made out just fine. Good one, you. Good one, you. Unpredictable, but worth it. This was your fault, too. 
and more mistakes, understand? Hey, it was worth it because now we got more things on our side. We just requisitioned all of his shit. He has nothing. He's on a leash now. Unpredictable, but definitely worth it. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. Simple, I like you. It's business, I need allies. I just want to be friends. Yeah, just want to be friends. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all <laughs> right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. We probably have a bit more. Red Jenny attends a party operation. Hey, Sarah, what are you looking at there? Looks like you just, uh... You counting the bricks? She's definitely counting the bricks. Anything else? So we're attacking wardens now. That's pissing great. No, it's not. Is your group still active? Is your group still active? Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsehole and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. Do your pranks achieve much? Yeah. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? We'd have helped more if you hadn't been so chummy. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. True. That's a fair point. It is a fair point. You think you inspire like me? How are you still alive? <laughs> How are you still alive, though? I'm curious. It must have gone wrong before. How many times have you almost died? What fight were you in? We didn't almost die. Besides, I only have to start these punch-ups. You would have killed Harmon if I'd let you. Sure, sometimes I plonk one. But you know what it takes to be a noble? Everyone says, he's a noble. That's all a title is. So I slap someone, make them look stupid for just a second. All of a sudden, he doesn't look so nobly or scary. Maybe the servants rebel, whatever. But know what really gets them? Other nobles. They blame the slappy for being slapped. Their shit's like that. So it's backwards inspiration. Sort of. Still works like yours does. Okay. I kind of get it, Sarah. Do we ever get Sarah? I don't know. Fully. Let's just nod and smile. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. You think you inspire like me? So, you think that what you do is just as inspiring as what I do? I said it works the same. Because if you're boot on your neck poor, nobles and couriers don't look much different. They sure as piss look closer to each other than they do to real people. So yes, I inspire. Little pockets of inspire... Asian. You believe weird things. That's, you know, it's a fair point. You inspire in your own way, we inspire in our way. We're not gonna belittle her. We're definitely not gonna do that. But you inspire in your own way. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. No. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? It sure the fuck is, Sarah. Anything else? Ready for waiting. Ready for waiting. Opinions of allies? Let's answer all this stuff. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people. Right, which ones? We've already asked her all of this stuff. We sure the fuck did. I don't think we need to do that again. That's it for now. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. We asked her every hey, you again. single one. Thoughts on a progress? Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The praying's nice, I suppose. Cariffy's bit, though. Shite. You don't fit in the Inquisition? All right, take care. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. One more thing, Lissara, let me say. something, something. No. Take it easy. Oh, there we go. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. So, what we can do now... We can... Open up... 
Solus's mission area. We got Dorian stuff. I have to read Dorian's codex. We have to. I have to read that. So when I'm editing this episode, I'm going to read it Inquisitor? before we do his. So what we're going to do? Oh, we got to talk to Josephine. Let's talk to Josephine. Has no one seen him? Seen who, Ambassador? Cole, the young man with the. What does he look like again? Has anyone seen Cole? I just seen him. Oh, Josephine has Inquisitor, something. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. You don't seem property. Yeah, you don't really seem like it. Debt or no, you appear to be surviving. That isn't enough. A disaster could wipe us out completely. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. But you're not... You're not actually poor, right? Most people worry about their next meal. Never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams. My brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? You can't fix everything. No, I mean, you can't, but the person that you are, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna try. That's just how she is. So you're going to torture yourself over your ancestors' mistakes? No, but I'd made such progress. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered, and the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Who did it? Who would go through that trouble? Was the attack on us? Where was it? Were the murderers targeting the Inquisition? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivere, a nobleman in Val Royaux, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. Yeah, but... What will that even get him? What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Count will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Count will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If it helps you, I'll go. Yeah, I mean, definitely. If it helps you, then we'll definitely do it. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. We have so many companion missions now. Meet with Josephine and Val Royale. There's gonna be... I remember hers being a big continuation of a mission. Inquisitor, is it true? You know? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus sure. claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. It might be the Maker's will. I believe that was holy too. The Anchor's magic, not holy. The Maker isn't of this world. I mean, it, yeah, it's a magic, not holy. The Anchor's nothing more special than a misfired spell. At least you had the good fortune to take it from Corypheus. Does it hurt? The Anchor, that is. I'll cope. Feels strange. I would think it feels strange. Not pain. It's more like my nerves go on fire. It sounds most unpleasant. Sure the fuck is. Anything else? A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantre loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Okay. Can they be reasoned with? Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, 
It may win you a few admirers. Why are the no yeah, why are they so interested though? What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. We need to show a force. We need some propaganda. Let's send them. Should we send diplomats here? It's Josephine's gig. So let's just appease and do what she would do, I think. Let's not show force. Let's, let's send diplomats. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. Damn right. Cool. We got some influence. Works for me anyway. In pleasure. Anything to report? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. What about our guests? Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversation sent towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seems to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. What the fuck? A pleasure. <laughs> Any report? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. What about, yeah, what about allies? Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? We've already asked her about all of this stuff. I know we did. Trust I'll speak me. later. Farewell. We don't need to ask her. We really don't need to ask Sarah as well about stuff. We didn't even really need to ask Blackwall. But, okay, well, I think Josie... Yes. Anything else? Personal? Whoa! Tell me about Antiva. Shit, there's so much. Who's in charge of Antiva? Who rules Antiva? Officially, the Principality of Antiva is governed by His Majesty King Fugelno II. In reality, Antiva's merchant princes rule the country in everything but name. Quite loudly, I might add. They sure the fuck do. Is that first-hand experience? What sort of dealings did you have with these merchant families? As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in a mediatory capacity. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other's tariff suggestions. How does anything get done? Well, it doesn't sound dull. No, I guess it doesn't sound dull. If you must deal with legislation, at least it's lively. It's all a part of life in Antiva. Our traditions value passion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. You're not very exuberant. <laughs> Are you positive you're Antivan? I can be most exuberant when it's called for. Just... At the right moments, and in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? Maybe. Tell me about Antiva. What's living in Antiva like? Yeah, tell us. What's the land like in Antiva? The settled areas are quite lush. The vineyards run as far as the eye can see in some places. Antiva City, however, perches right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss most. The sea crashing against the maze of the docks. She misses that, but Zevron misses the leather smell, remember? You spent time there? I have difficulty seeing you wandering around a trading port. Everyone in Antifa City spends time by the ships, my lord. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade no matter what the weather. Do you ever miss Antifa? Are you ever homesick? Occasionally. When a breeze stirs the trees in the garden, I sometimes pretend it's the sound of the surf. <sighs> Do you know, I even miss those terrible squawking birds infesting the harbor. My youngest sister used to throw whole loaves of bread to the gulls. Silly thing. Hey, as long as Shale's not there, you're okay. <laughs> it's something, and she's not the only one. I've seen it in my life. <laughs> Just... Not throwing loaves of bread, but just, you know, tossing bread to birds at times. 
What's your yeah? What's your past with Liliana? You haven't really gone into detail about how you know Liliana. We met. Oh, let me think. We met the last few years of my schooling, but we became friends after I became ambassador to Ole. It seems terrifyingly long ago now. What prompted the reunion? Yeah. How exactly did you and Liliana reconnect in the Inquisition? I discovered my family had been overcharging a merchant we traded with for months. Our name carries a great deal of trust in Antiva. I spent weeks arranging a string of favors as suitable recompense. Apparently satisfied, the merchant extended me an invitation to her estate. Leliana greeted me in place of the merchant. Sounds like her. A clever way to test you. You know... I wouldn't put it past that actually being a test from Liliana. I assume the entire problem was some form of trial. You assume correctly. Yeah. Liliana claimed she needed someone of painful integrity for the Inquisition. I accepted, once she finally explained what it was. Are you still friends with Liliana? Do you remain close? Yes, but she's grown so much more distant than the outgoing woman I met in Valroyo. Leliana used to wander the Olesian courts, singing the sweetest songs, charming the greatest wits. Now she collects secrets and takes risks that would make empires tremble. I worry, but she will not hear it. The left hand of the divine's work is never done. You talk often then? I don't think she does. I mean, they seem so busy between her. Josephine is fucking busy, friends. <laughs> She's got so much shit going on. And Liliana has a lot of shit going on, too, so I doubt they talk that much often. Does Liliana confide in you? If she enjoys revisiting our more disastrous adventures, Liliana used to concoct the most ridiculous plans. Run if you ever see her with a twine ball, a measuring stick, and a handkerchief. <laughs> she finds her ways. What's your family like? Yeah. Tell me about the Montilliers. Well, uh, my parents are alive. And in good health. Uh, they live in our estate in Antiva City. Of my four siblings, most attend to the running of the family vineyards. <sighs> that reminds me. I must ask someone to make sure Yvette attends the spring reception at the palace. My youngest sister has no head for social engagements. I kind of hope we get to meet her family at some point in time. I don't know. But if it's in this game or maybe in the future, I just I want to... Her sister sounds pretty wild. <laughs> Why are you arranging it? Why are you overseeing your siblings' social lives? Yeah. It's Antivan custom. After a certain age, the heir apparent runs the family's estate to prove they're worthy of succession. If you're unfit for the task, the heads of the house, usually one's parents, may decree a new heir. Then what do the heads do? Yeah, what the hell do they do then? What do these Antivan heads of the household do if they don't run it? They work and provide guidance. I've taken advice from my parents. Well, mostly mother. Father's more of an artist. It's rather gauche, but we never can dissuade him from running his own salons. Between him and my siblings, mother is looking forward to my taking over the estate. That sounds exhausting. Where do you find time? Where do you find time for all this, Josephine? You have your family you deal with. You have the Inquisition you deal with. You just have a lot of shit going on. Can you run your family's business and be the Inquisition's ambassador? I won't let it interfere with the quality of my work for the Inquisition. I assure you. But managing the estate is my duty. As much work as it is, I will not shirk it. Definitely. I definitely don't see her shirking any duty. You sound determined. She's very determined, Ace. Full force determined woman. She's one of the most determined people we have here at Skyhold. Her, Liliana, Colin. I mean, all of our advisors are pretty determined people. Is running your family's estate that important to you? I'm responsible for their welfare. A Montelier never shuns their familial duty. Taxing as those duties can sometimes be. Maybe your family can help? Yeah. Can they lighten the burden just maybe a little bit? Is it possible? Maybe your siblings could help lighten your burden. You don't know there them. You go. But Lorien in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No, truly. It must be me. It has to be you, huh? Where did you grow up? Antiva, obviously. 
Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antiva City. But when I turned 15, Mother declared I'd attend finishing school in Balroyo. Oh, but I bowled into her skirts the day I had to leave. That's too funny. How sad you must have been. I'm not surprised. That's too funny, Josephine. Did they have to pry your fingers off the door frame as well? Admittedly, <laughs> I may have been a trifle sheltered. But my mother only wanted the best for me. Living in Orle was an education in itself. She cares so much about her family. Just imagine that the Inquisition right now is basically her second family as well. Home away from home. Family away from family, I guess. And just imagine how much, well, she cares about her family, but imagine how much she actually cares about the Inquisition, too. What was school like? What did you learn at this finishing school in Val Royale? Well, among other things, mathematics, rhetoric, poetry, history, logic, and a great deal of etiquette. I still remember Madame Beventir switch on my knuckles when I forgot the basic tenets of Nevaran dining customs. For a dowager approaching her 80th year, she had quite the arm. Sounds like it. What did you, yeah, what did you think of Orle? For some reason I thought Josephine was from Orle. But the little bit that we're getting on Antiva is awesome. Because, well, there's just so many places that we want to learn about. We only learned about them via codexes here and there. Like Antiva's one. And then I still want to learn more about Orle. We've learned a lot about Orle within these games, though. But Antiva, the Anderfels, Taventer, all them places. Navara, I want to learn about them all. They've been just minor codexes, but I want, I want it all. <laughs> what did you think of Orle? Yeah, what did you think of Orle? How did the younger you like Val Royale when you arrived? Have you ever stepped into a new city and felt the buildings couldn't possibly be real? Well, that was Val Royal to me. So beautifully foreign. I gaped at its spires for months. Are there none in Antiva? Does Antiva City have nothing that compares to Val Royal? Antiva City is a jewel among the capitals. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Seheron, the Anderfels, whatever lies past the Amaranthine Ocean. Uh, me too. Let's speak later. I was just Goodbye. talking about all the stuff I want to learn about. There's Antiva. We have a codex of Antiva now. Yes. And then report. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Do we have any guests? Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? None in particular. Our guests are well pleased with what they've seen. Well, Josephine is dialogue is all expended. Everyone's dialogue is completely done. It's still got Dorian's quest marked here. Let me look at the inner circle. Of somewhat fallen fortune. Josephine's messengers have been murdered. Compt Boy's, uh, whatever that name is, claims to have information that could lead to the identity of the murderers. Meet with Josephine. We definitely do need to do that. We have a lot. A lot, friends. Of companion missions. I didn't realize. I was thinking that when I was, you know, doing Hawk's mission. I was thinking that we would probably end up doing... Because I knew that we had Cassandra's. But that's only one I thought that we were going to get. I didn't realize that we had all these other ones. If so, I probably would have waited on Hawk's mission. Though... But then again, if we're doing that continuation of Hawk's mission might have actually triggered more of these conversations, maybe. But even so, it don't matter. We're getting all the inner circle done before even Josephine's. We're getting everything done before we do. I think it's a good point anyways for Here Lies in the Abyss to be on a standstill until we get all this done. Because I mean, just it makes a lot of sense, though. Hawk has been was waiting there forever in the uh, Western approach. But anyways, it seems like a good hold for now until we can just finish up we have to finish all this stuff up especially dorian stuff we have to do dorian's i can't wait to see what it is you know it's romance stuff for sure i'd imagine but looking at this stuff i would think that we're probably done at the moment at least getting side stuff and then conversations though once we do these side things for the companions, their mission, we'll have more conversations as well. Though I really, I can't wait to see Dorian's. I know I just said it, but I can't wait to see if this actually triggers more uh, romance stuff as well. 
But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.